mate, can yep. you mate? Can you help me make my mate mate music? You got a mate, mate. and you you want to make it a close mate. Like right now, you're kind of like workmate friends, and you want to be like drinking buddies now. Yeah, I want benefits. I want you to make make me love this and help me no, understand not. the basics of beat assembly, making a synth sound and, and programming it. And I also want a little bit of that kind of, give me some of that advanced juice, because I hear that trackers are fast. I won't learn them all, but if you can at least just point me at, oh, these are the keystrokes you need to know. Then. Mm-hmm. But assume I know nothing. Let's start with a blank project. Yes. You have your, you have your. These little mateys. Up, down, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're sad. Um, and by the way, this was, this is set up like a Game Boy. Like that's, that's yeah. what its intention is. If you hold shift um, and shift. then hit the right arrow, you will move to the chain view. So this is how you move through your different pages. Um, you will not be able to continue uh, past uh, the phrase, or excuse me, the chain view if you haven't made a phrase. Um, we'll get to that. I'm just trying to show you how to move around real quick. And I also want you to take note of on the bottom right, there is a little thing that says Piviscript. <laughs> yes, I saw that. <laughs> Pacific Pit. Pacific Pit. Uh, piss Pit. Um, piss Pit. <laughs> piss. Oh my God. We're off to a great start. <laughs> if, you, um, if you move around, you'll notice that you're moving um, uh, through that as well. That is sort of a, um, uh, a condensed version of the tree um, of, of what you have available to you. And you also see that, like, for some, when you move down to V, you'll get an X. Um, Wow. That it sort of appears. Uh, so there's there's different ways to get to X. Like if you go down from here, you'll also get to X as well. Yeah. This, these are the things that you'll start to sublimate as you start moving around. But I wanted to make sure that you understood um, the shift arrow to move through the menu system. Because that's what we're going to be doing a lot. Shift moves us through the piss pit. Uh, yes. Right at the very bottom of the piss pit is an illicit X, which appears only when you approach it. <laughs> Why is it not shown all the time? No one knows. Yeah, actually, I don't know either. Uh, it's it's a mystery. Um, considering that that little thing is supposed to be like a navigation tree, it's very odd that there's a, a extra a Easter egg. One. It doesn't <laughs> want to like scare you. It's like, no, no, come down the V road. It's like, oh, but did you know there's an X beyond it? Yeah. Legend has it, if you keep tapping a thousand times, there's something beneath X. Well, but... you don't want to go down. It's X's. It, there's a few more X's, and you really don't want to go <laughs> no, through, down to the You're triple X. for that, anyway. <laughs> for the piss pit, yeah. Um, all right, let's go up to P. <laughs> okay, so we've learned to navigate this piss pit. Yeah. Now we go up to the initial P project. The initial P. Uh, and let's go ahead and just make a new project. So if you uh, use the arrows, no shift, and just go down to project, new, um, you'll create a new project. Which and button I do I press ma- to engage? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, hit the uh, edit button. So top right. Bang. So you've made this wonderful thing do you know uh, what? already. You, are I'm, you gonna I'm, throw okay, it I'm okay with that. It's, it's already okay. done. It's dead. So uh, do you have a favorite tempo? Do you have like a tempo you like? I'm favoring 136. Okay. Let's go up to Although the P again. Actually, maybe and faster, but yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go shift. You want to start? With one, three, six. Okay, yeah. There you go. Now use the regular arrows to go up to tempo, and um, here's where uh, you need to hold the edit button on the parameter that you yes. want to change. And up and down will change it in increments of ten, and left and right will change it in increments of one. I love it. Yes. Okay. So we've got coarse and fine. Well, let's say mm-hmm. let's. Yep. Okay. Well, let's do one, one. three, six. Well, yeah, you can always change it later. You know, that'd be fun. Um, there's a lot of information on here um, that we can just kind of like look at real quick. Um, you can transpose your entire set here, oh, wow. which may or may not be useful for a number of uh, situations. <laughs> Groove, we will get into uh, later. Don't worry about that for right now. Your scale, you can set a scale here. Um, oh, nice. And this will be something that will... Uh, I think when you enter notes um, values on the uh, grid um, or on the spreadsheet sort of uh, thing later on, I think they will um, adhere to that. Um, but is here's it, the is, issue. Is, oh, I was going to say, is it like post quantize? Can I can I change this after the fact, or is is it? That's a really good question. I don't I don't actually know. Okay. I I haven't ever used it, and the reason is is because the slicer in uh, this uses chromatic note values 
to pick the slices. So if I, I quantize the whole thing to a scale, I feel like I, unless I'm missing something, I feel like I lose uh, easy uh, slices. You, you lose access things. to slices. On the circle, like there it, is a thing silly. where it's like you can exclude certain channels from that, from quantization. Uh, maybe there's a way of doing it. Anyway, but for the yeah. purposes here, we understand that we can choose a scale that will help us make our mm -hmm. burbles be in key. Mm -hmm. The thing below that where it says live, live quantize, there is a live mode for uh, the mate where you can launch um, what are called chains, which are basically your collections of patterns, um, uh, sort of in a clip launcher sort of sense. Um, and that's the quantization for uh, how long it takes for you to select a chain and then have it uh, launch. Okay. Just like in Ableton when you have the uh, clip quantization yeah, in yeah. session mode. For launching them, yeah. Got note yet. preview. When you enter a note, do you want to hear it previewed? I've always left that on. Yeah. Um, I can understand why you might not want it, but yeah. Uh, MIDI mappings, um, and uh, which is great. You can hook up like a little like MIDI controller oh, to this, yeah. Um, like a uh, like a uh, fader fox. Those are popular. Um, and then name. Look, got, look, look, these little funny. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah look at that little. Look at, look at that little. Friend. Little part of my little tiny small black box studio. Oh no, I like it. Yeah. Anyway. Yep. Um, I don't know how I leave this. How do I leave? Oh. Uh, uh, hit uh, shift back. Shift. Remember, use the like, use the um, the oh. yeah. There you go. Shift in the arrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I I feel bad because I I should know this. There is a name to just give. There is a way to give it like a random name, uh, which is one of my favorite things in the world. Uh, but I can't remember what the oh. um what what the thing is. So, uh, unless I'm confusing that with the poly end tracker, because I know the poly end tracker can do that. I also like it, oh. but I'm pretty sure this can do it too. Um, oh look! If I go edit and I go down to oh, there it is, there it is. Random. Uh, I just hit down. Yeah. Oh, 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 Auburn, oh, Auburn Auburn quasar. quasar. Yeah, that's good. That is <laughs> my favorite color of quasar. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll talk about rendering stuff and the clear unused later. Um, and then you've obviously already discovered edit theme, which allows you to change the uh, color of your. Uh, your whole I spent, thing. I spent longer than I should in there. There's a. Um, I, I do believe that there's a couple threads, uh, or maybe even stuff on the Discord to uh, get people's themes, and you can load them as files. So, um, yeah, that could That's be good. cool. I I have a nice. I have a one that I really really like. Too. A change is as good as a rest. They say, don't they? So if you got bored, you can change the colors. I do it to lot every once in a while, like maybe Live. like every three yeah. months. I'll be like Ableton, you're getting you're yeah. getting a refresh. It's time, Lick and it paint. makes me feel yeah. me feel good. All right, so now uh, we can go. Uh, let's see, we're gonna go back down to our um, big grid. Is the it big sh grid. shift and down? Yeah, there shift. You go. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you've already kind of explored this a little bit, but what we're looking at here is the sort of song mode section of the uh the thing and you'll see that it says song up at the top um now if you were to hit shift and left right now which you may do accidentally you'll live. see that that changes from song to live so if you're ever not getting what you want out of like if things aren't working properly here um just take a look at that upper left hand corner um and make sure that you are in song mode unless you want to be in live mode in which case you know you'd be in live, live mode. is for playing live with this for all intents. live is for as, as launching video. what are called chains uh so yeah. sections in here that are like collections of patterns you can move the cursor around or use probably a launch pad or something and launch those non-linearly uh, just like you would in ableton session mode um that's so, pretty cool uh, really for something it is cool. for something this small then you could basically mm -hmm. use it to kind of fire off whole chunks of a set you know like absolutely beats and bits and everything yeah it's good and of, of all the devices that I have used that can play back like stereo high quality wave files, this thing I have had the least problems with. <laughs> <laughs> like like I, I think the machine plus is probably like 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 you know a little bit more robust, but like compared to like even like the synth from Deluge, for instance, like I use it for stems yeah. sometimes and it can freak out. This thing I think has been the most reliable when it comes to playing back it stereo lot, stems. Doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Nice. And it's all from streaming from the from the SD card, I believe, which is pretty pretty impressive. Mm. Okay. Okay. 
So in this section here, we can put down what are called uh, chains. And chains are collections of patterns. Um, so there's a hierarchy, song, chain, pattern, and then um, instrument. And you can see that in the piss pit. <laughs> we got to stop calling it that. No, we but don't. The, <laughs> the, the, sip it, <laughs> the, the little hierarchy down there where it says uh, S-C-P-I-T, uh, song, chain, pattern, instrument, and then table. So okay. in order to put some, in order to move down that, we're going to have to start making some um, additions to the song here. We're going to have to put something down. Now here's where you want to do something that may or may not um, help you down the line. I think it's going to help you. It's the first thing I always do with every single so uh, song that I start on the mate. And that is I'm going to make what's called a uh, like a filler pattern. Uh, it's sort of a placeholder chunk. Um, and I'll explain why later. Mm. But let's just go ahead and do it. So the mate works on a hexadecimal um, uh, scale. Everything is hexadecimal uh, as opposed to just numerical. So if you were to hit edit right now, you would put down a, a blank uh, chain, okay? Now, if you hold edit and use the up and down arrows, you'll change that chain to uh, anything between uh, zero, zero, uh, one, and uh, up to FE. So you can just hold the arrow up and down or hold the arrow left and right. Yeah. So uh, it's hexadecimal, which I believe is like 16 um, as opposed to uh, 10 in between everything. So you get a fair amount of... Um, uh, chains that you can uh, create. But what I like to do is go all the way up to FE. Yeah. So go ahead and just, all right. Now we're going to hit shift and right to go into the chain thing. Yeah. Okay. So we've just entered that FE chain. Oh, all right. Have. Yeah. I see it at the top. Now you can see that we have PH. Um, that does not stand for piss house. <laughs> I know that <laughs> that's what we've been assuming, but no, that's, that's was what I was just thinking, of course. So here, you're going to create the length of your chain by putting how many patterns and which patterns you want in that chain. You can make up to, as you see there, 16 patterns in this chain. And so by default, if you're working at a, um, a 16th note resolution, you know, that would be one, uh, 16 bars. Yeah, okay? okay. Okay. I like to work in chunks of four in my chains. Um, I find that that gives me... Uh, if I think of, I think of my music as like eight bar phrase, uh, establish eight bar phrase, variate 16 bars is like a section. And then, um, like, so it's all sort of in this four, like yeah. four, eight, 16 kind of thing. And four gives me the ability to set up a four bar phrase, which is like a pretty normal, like chord progression and stuff like that. And also have a little bit of variation at the end. Um, so that's me. Yeah. You can do what you want, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm gonna be we're going to work in four bar phrase. You're going to be me. Yes. Okay. So what we're doing here is creating a blank placeholder. We'll never put anything in this. So I want you to hold down edit and hit down, hit up until you uh, put FE in there. Okay. Now we'll see something that the mate uh, is is kind of cool for doing. If you hit the down arrow, you're going to want to put a pattern there. But before you do anything, just hit the edit button. It's going to put what what you just entered in there. So you can just hit down again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come back. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, the, oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, your, uh, the video feed for your mate um, oh, wow. your, in your hands disappeared for a second. Okay. We have made a blank placeholder pattern. We will use this later. Uh, yeah. Don't worry about it for right now. <laughs> so let's get a, go ahead back to our chain, uh, or excuse me, our song section. Okay. Um, and let's talk a little bit about like organization. I, I know this is, we haven't even made music yet, but like, I want to make sure that we do this right. So you could just start adding patterns willy nilly, you, uh, excuse me, uh, chains. We're going to call them chains because that's what they are. Um, but if you do that, it can get really difficult to remember where you put something later on. Um, and you're just going to have this huge grid of random chain numbers mm. all over the place. So what someone suggested to me, which I really, really like, is I'm going to use um, under one, under the this track one, all my patterns, if possible, are going to start with one. On two, they're all going to start with two, yeah. et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Does that make sense? It totally does, yeah. So you're sort of um, marking, you're demarking 
them so mm-hmm. that you can at least have a vague idea of what because presumably there's another screen where you're going to see all these other things referenced and be like which mm-hmm. friggin, what the fuck which one does that what column does that yep. one relate to what do they use it on yeah exactly yeah yep um and i'm going to generally stick with a certain type of instrument on each one. You are familiar with the Digitect, right? Like yeah. you used the Digitect yeah, yeah. before. Okay, so like on the Digitect, like you you have the marked to do certain things like kick, snare, uh, oh, yeah. open, closed, hi hat, stuff like that. Obviously, we don't stick with that, but I'm I'm assuming that after a long time using the Digitect, you've kind of maybe come up with a sort of like concept of like how you like to keep that organized maybe you put bases on the tom channel if you're not using a tom or Mm. something like that like you just sort of have this conceptual idea of how to use it um and keep things sort of like in a place where you'll know where to reach for them i do Mm. the same thing with the mate um in the past uh i try to treat it like the digitact war i would start with uh, tracks seven and eight and put my most significant thing there. You don't have to do that. We can just start with one. Um, Like uh, you will find your own sort of like happy place with this. Mm. But in order to do that, we're going to have to clear that, that chain right there. Um, So what I want you to do is hold edit and hit option. You can do it with one thumb. There you go. Little roll right there. Yeah. All right, cool. So um, now if we, uh, uh, hit edit. We didn't actually have to delete it. I just wanted to show you that. Uh, hit edit and then um, use the down arrow. Uh, hold it all the way until you get to zero and then hit up, up once and you'll hit one. Oh. Fuck. Yep. Like that. Oh, oh, no, no. Uh, start start uh, the... Yeah, there you go. Ten. I'm sorry. Ten. You're right. Okay, cool. So now, um, if we hit shift to the right, um, we're back in the... Oh, yeah. We're back in the phrase thing. This is a brand new chain, so we're going to have to put a new phrase in here. Um, one that we uh, isn't all the way up at FE. So I'm going to hit the edit button and then I'm going to hold uh, the uh, down arrow until I get to zero. And here's something that uh, is kind of cool here. If you double click the edit button, it's going to iterate to the next blank phrase or in song mode it's going to fill in the next blank chain so this is really useful when you don't know like what phrase i have left that i can work with or Mm. what chain i have left i can work with just hit the just double click edit and you'll get there um this isn't a big deal right now because obviously we have everything except for fe is is blank but i just wanted to show you it to start off let's go ahead and put 01010101. And all you have to do is hit down and edit to fill that in. Yeah. Great. We can come change this later if we want. And um, in fact, we probably will because I have a way of thinking about my phrases that um, has always done me pretty well. Um, and it basically it comes down to establish, iterate a little bit, return to establish, iterate a little bit more. Um, and that's going to be look like oh, probably like 0103. But we got to start off with something okay Mm. all right cool let's go over uh shift right and we finally are in our phrase so whatever phrase you had highlighted uh, on the chain menu um you will have entered Um, and now if you hit play you'll see our our little arrow move down at 100 and uh, what we're 136 bpm yeah yeah there we go Okay, so in this screen the first column is for notes the second column is velocity instrument And then we have our three effects tabs, which are uh, all the cool things. (coughs) Oh my God, I just burped and then (laughs) stopped breathing. (laughs) Keep breathing. uh, The the effects being the things that um, the mate can do to uh, uh, affect notes. Um, They're not audio effects. Mm. They're they're like note MIDI. um, Automation uh, sort of clever Mm -hmm. clever things. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we have to make an instrument before we can hear anything. So um, go ahead and hit uh, the shift right arrow. Shift right. Mm-hmm. I see. So, we, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we move to the, move into the instrument. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. We have some cool instruments to choose from. Um, with the type none selected, if you hold down edit to you know edit a parameter, we can use the right arrow to move through them. Oh, okay, Wave synth. Wave synth, no, go back. Go Slow. Back. Wave Slow synth. Down. Uh, this is your chiptune synth. Um, oh, yeah. Like, if you want to make chiptune, 
this is the baby. Um, it's it's super, super great. And uh, we will look at it a little bit more in a second. Go back to highlight type. Uh, yep. Hold uh, edit, hit right. Macro synth. This is Mutable Instruments braids. Yeah, sick. Straight up. And it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. All, the, all, all your favorites are there. Um, and uh, if you are familiar with braids, then I bet you are. Yeah. Um, you will appreciate that. I have one uh, right next to me. Oh, yeah. that's good. Yeah. It's a good module. The ori- do you have the original? Uh, I I had it and I sold it because I'm a fucking idiot. Oh. I thought I thought the Platts was better. And then in hindsight... They're so different. They are different. And actually, yeah. you you need both. Like, yeah. Braids is like more sort of chunky and solid mm-hmm. and just kind of like... just And it also, because of the virtue of the, like, the turny screen, like the turny dial, it's faster to get things. You just go, I want that now i want mm-hmm. that it's like anyway yeah but, no I, I i agree so hang on this is like a polyphonic braids right it's not polyphonic oh, there's, no pol- there's no fucking there's no polyphony in here uh so to speak that's a joke um it's, it's, oh oh okay sorry it's, it's really good <laughs> i mean it's if it's not polyphonic well it is though isn't it because we can have multiple channels can't we yeah we could eight channels or whatever so but still oh yeah so you could have eight braids playing yeah. you know like if you wanted to absolutely that is wild um yeah it's super super fucking cool uh next up is the possibly the most important thing and that's the sampler it's map line. um it is great uh and wonderful Here, here's where you'll be doing your slicing and all that kind of stuff as well yeah and then uh a four op fm synth really? um yeah uh, uh, and then the newest of the bunch, the oh, hypersyn. Hypersyn. Yeah, what? this does chords. Um, you can see that there's a chord oh, yeah. thing there where you can define intervals, and there's a series of chord tables which are set by that right there. Um, and then uh, there's a stereo swarm um, and uh, stuff like that, stereo width. Wait, sounds great. Is there a quick way to like preview these? Like, just make a little audition button. Thing. So, no, what I would normally do uh, is um, sort of just like just randomly, p- unless I had a plan, right? Unless I like knew what I was going to pick, I might just pick like the closest thing to what I had in my mind wanting to create. Mm. Um, like if I, if I knew that I wanted to have like a saw wave bass, I might just go and like pick um, like the wave synth uh, or, or the macro synth seesaw. Mm. Yeah. Um, and, and, and leave it there. And then I would go and I would make, I would start programming my notes. Mm. Um, and then I would come back here yeah. and, and start mess scrolling through the, and mess with it uh, while that sequence was playing. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, so what would you, what, what, what sounds good to you to start with? What kind I of mean, line do you want I mean, to write first? I think we should do a little sorry bass line. Bow, 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 okay. bow, little thing. Uh, all right. So with Seesaw selected, uh, we can come back and edit this later. Go seesaw. ahead. Seesaw. Uh, That's quite cute. I've never really thought about it. Seesaw. Yeah, I didn't you know, know it's, either. It's CS80 saw is what it's based on. Oh, there Ooh, it is. That. Here it's rich. Uh, <laughs> so go ahead and hit shift left to go back to your phrase. Shift left. Yes. Now hit hit the edit button. Oh, I heard Ooh. it. Do it again. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's <laughs> So remember what that option note preview uh, from the beginning? That's what we're hearing right now. Option um, is that okay? Yeah, uh, I remember. Okay. Sorry, yes, in that men- the menu, we we said that we wanted to hear the note when we entered it. Yeah, 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 exactly. So actually, this isn't just playing an arbitrary note. This is playing the one I'm hovering on. It is. It's like tr- it's it's like previewing the trig if yeah. you want to think of it yeah. sort of an electro strip. And you will always be able to preview what's going on with all the effects and everything, which is really, really helpful. Um, So that's a note. um, And uh, let's talk about entering notes. You've already figured it out. You can, oh no, that's good. Uh, uh, It works the same with the uh, course control going um, uh, with the up and down arrows. When you hold down edit. Octaves. Octaves. And then uh, left and right um, does your uplinks. So go ahead and <laughs> program yourself a little a little line. I mean, I'm not sure what I've created, but I can kind of. Well, if you want to, you can hit play, and 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 edit it while you play. Oh, mate! Christmas number one, right there. We're done. Yeah. Mm. So 
So one thing I would say about I'm going to judge this musically to show you oh, um, do a that. way. <laughs> Please don't to, judge me uh, musically. <laughs> I want to show you a, a way to um, like uh, move events around, like copy and paste events. Yes, um, the other, right now the other one would ahead. be like just nudging because I think in my limited experience with trackers, sometimes mm -hmm. I'm just I'm just shit at knowing which. I'm like, oh no, I found the note, but I didn't mean for it to be there. I meant for it to be there. You know? Okay, so Nudging. do this. Yeah. So there's there's a couple of ways you can do this. So on that A, go ahead and just uh select it again and hit the edit hit the uh edit button. We hear it. Great. Go go down. Yeah. Hit the edit button. Oh, shut Great. up. Great. Remember how you deleted earlier? Uh the roll. <laughs> yep. So go ahead and and, and you can you can basically say, "Hey, uh, I want you here instead." Oh, nice! So it really yeah. this is both preview and copy. It strangely yes. Uh, it, there's other copy paste um, uh, tools which we'll probably get into in a smidge, um, but uh, in this situation, this is the easiest way to do what you have just yeah. uh, asked about, which is I want this here, really. Yeah. Now, if you had a whole bunch of information in this thing, like like if you had like instrument information and effect information, all that, we would do a an actual copy as opposed to is that because because uh, for example, if I copy a F sharp five, it's not actually mm -hmm. going to copy like the effects nope, info no, as well. No, no, it's it, it's just keeping track of like the last uh sort of value that you added. It's not right. really copy. It's sort of just like a uh a buffer. Okay. Um so, yeah. Um cool. Okay. Well, um do, is do you feel comfortable with this? Do you want to add some more notes? Why don't you just add some more notes? Um, Make it like a weird Ooh, I like that. That's slightly weird, isn't it? I want you to leave. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. I want you to leave a uh, space there at the end. Here. Um, yeah, because we're gonna uh, we're gonna need to do some envelope shaping and stuff. I mean, that's kind of shit. That's cool. Well, that's kind of like a sounds. I don't mind it. I don't mind it's it. not the worst thing that's ever been written. It needs a bit of cut off and resonance and things, but we can. You want to you want to mess around with the I think filter? We maybe maybe want to get that. We maybe maybe we want to do that. Okay, let's go back to the instrument then. So I go shift right. Yes. There you go. Okay. A, now you'll see yeah. that there is a thing there that says filter, and that's great. Um, right now it's off. So if we want filter, we're going to have to uh, use the edit button and hit right and choose the type of filter that we want. Uh, yes. Low pass, high pass, band stop. Band stop on this is great for creating phaser effects. Is that the um, notch? Is that? It is. Yeah. 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 Um, and then finally to the one to the right of that, I think that's the last one. Uh, no, excuse me. Um, go back to filter and hold down uh, edit and hit right. Uh, is there a one past that? I don't think so. Or is that the last one? That's okay. it. Low yeah. pass, high pass is very, very useful. It I'm just going to describe it real quick because um, it's how you can get bass out of something while still using a low pass filter. Resonance becomes the high pass, and cutoff is the low pass. So you don't. This is super, super useful in shaping sound. But okay. for this purpose, let's go and uh, just use the low pass that we had at the beginning. Yeah. Okay, so um, if you want a bit of resonance, go ahead and add it now. And you're probably going to want to take that cutoff filter down uh, because we're going to use like an envelope on it. Um, and you know, just like any synth, um, you stick the the parameter where you want the the floor to be yeah. um, for uh, an envelope. And that's then, a nice way of putting it. The yeah. floor, yeah. And then you push mm -hmm. it off the floor with the envelope. With uh, with the envelope, yeah. yeah. Now, there's a lot of other things on here, and we will look at those. Excuse me, um, but. We probably need to find um, our, our fucking envelopes. Yeah. Um, there are two ways you can go from this screen. One is down into V um, and then the mysterious X. And one is up <laughs> to uh, our mod page. Mods. Now, this used to be um, two envelopes and two LFOs. But um, uh, it was updated somewhat recently to just be four freely assignable mods. Okay. And... It's cool that way. It's super cool. Um, one thing you do have to keep in mind, though, is that there is no just default volume uh, mod. So if you want 
a volume mod, you're going to just take up one of your slots for it. And you're going to want that probably because um, outside of samples, these oscillators are like free running. They will never stop. Like unless you mm. like kill them with a kill command or something like that. So what do we have here? Well, uh, if you scroll through them, you can see we have a, a attack hold decay envelope. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I drinking Diet Coke while I'm talking to you? <laughs> you know, uh, yes. Uh, uh, we have a, what else? What's to the right of that? Hold edit and then move uh, to. Yeah. Uh, move to ADSR. ADSR. Yep. Uh, drum. Um, oh, which, uh, yeah, I'm wow. actually hundred percent sure how that Is works. Is that like a resonator as well? Or what, what? Like, it's just Real good question. Yeah, I don't show. know. I haven't Weird. used it. Yeah. Oh, um, uh, LFO. So now we're in LFOs. We've got, uh, LFOs, trig envelopes, and I think there's an envelope follower as well. There's a trig, trig ends, tracking. Yeah, we got all kinds of really cool stuff in here. So I'm, we're not going to get into all of it. Like we'll, we'll probably just use ADSRs and LFOs. You were saying this is sort of how you do velocity as well. You kind of do it in here by mapping something to volume. No, this is how you do your volume envelopes. Okay. So like like oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, there's no yeah. there's currently no envelope on the volume. So let's let's set up an ADSR. Um, and go down to destination, and the first thing you're going to hit is volume. volume. Yeah. So, so now if you hit play. Oh, you'll be able to adjust your uh, volume shape here. Do you want to get your filter going too? Yeah, I think I do. Okay, let's pick a different. So let's, one. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's nice it shows you at the value at the bottom. So Isn't that cool? You know, yeah. if you're like completely off the bar. Oh, and there's even a little like I like the little white dot that's showing. I the white dot is, is so fun. <laughs> yes, yeah, like it's just useful. Just to... I also love how at the top you actually see the uh, waveform output yeah, of what it's you're It's delightful, doing. isn't it? Really it's just like it's somehow like both aesthetic and really crude. And how is it both? I don't know how yeah. it's like, <laughs> sort of like, it looks like a, you know, like a, a BBC micro, like as in like the old like microcomputer type things. It's like a like proper like late 80s. Remind me to show you the Easter egg after we get these eight channels already uh, all filled up. Okay, so we've got something going there. Okay, great. So um, go ahead and uh, go ahead and stop playing for right now. And um, let's explore real quick the uh, amp, uh, chorus, delay, oh, and shit. reverb. That's okay. What? Uh, what uh, oh god! I think so, I put something with option. <laughs> Where am I? So you didn't you didn't do anything bad. Go hold hold shift. Um, oh, actually, excuse me. Hold option. Yeah. And hit left. Oh, there she is. There you go. So you can navigate through your instruments by holding option and hitting right and left. Is that, and will it retain the sort of the M settings? Allow you know, yeah, because, the mods. Yeah, because 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 oh no no no. Um, it so it, it, you're you're browsing. So an instrument is like it's like every sound that you make in the mate has to have an instrument designed for it so you know you'll have like a, maybe you'll have like eight macro synths and you can use them wherever you want um you can uh have like uh you know 12 samplers and you know they're going to be all your drums but you might not use them all the time it's like you just you create instruments to use when you need them to be used does that make sense and they just stick there in that slot so like yeah. instrument zero will always be this macro synth unless you specifically go to instrument zero and edit it yeah okay great um so we have chorus, delay, and reverb, yeah. and dry. One of the things that took me a really long time to understand here was sort of some of the relationships between these things, and luckily, you're going to know them right now. The first thing I want to do is go to amp, uh, excuse me, uh, yeah, go to amp, and turn it up like, like to like halfway. And if you hit play now, it's going to be rather loud. Yeah. It sounds like pretty good, though. It's sort so of, amp, yeah, clipping. Amp, it go, yeah, so it's clipping. That limb thing below is the type of amp that you're using. And there's a couple different types. Um, if you hit play, you'll hear them. Um, so there's like oh. a folding uh, sign. Uh, oh, that's, yeah. that sounds wicked. <laughs> yeah, I, I see. So it's like, oh, it's really cool. They have that. That sounds very bukla y. That's yeah. super cool. 
Yeah, cool. Um, keep on going. Uh, there's there's a few more. Uh, so, rap. Yeah. All right, so now we're getting into the ones that I use all the time. Okay. Post and post AD, which is the next one. Post AD was specifically designed um, after the creator of this uh, had some time with the Erica Synth Techno system yeah. and was like, I like how distorted this thing gets. Mm. I want something that that represent that kind of like feels like that. So post AD is um, that, and I and I generally hit almost every single one of my instruments with a like splash yeah. of of that uh, of something in amp limb some combination there it just sounds cool um okay so if it gets too loud uh for you if you like you want a shit ton of of the amp um you can turn down the dry volume and it will bring the overall oh, volume of the instrument yeah down. okay yeah so we made it yeah i can it's significantly quieter Yep. So that basically you can smish it through this and yes. you can see it like and then and then bring the dry volume yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. The dry volume also is like so it's it, basically the chorus delay and reverb here are like pre-fader sends. Does that make sense? Like the dry is the dry fader, but you can have dry all the way down and still send it to chorus delay and oh, reverb. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah, these are like pre-fader. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, if you want to adjust any uh, settings for um, your effects, you have to go to the Forbidden Effects page, which is the X, the <laughs> X page. Down in the dungeons. Okay. <laughs> Down in the piss dungeons, yes. Oh, sweet. <laughs> um, so we have some cool stuff in here. You know, you can um, you can ping pong the, the uh, you know, delay. Yeah. Um, you can send all of the effects into each other, various digitone oh, style. Really? Uh, the chorus can go into the reverb, the um, the delay oh, can go into it. the reverb. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I just check, is this global? Are these effects global or are they per track? Yes. No, they're global. global. These are okay. like, they're, they're sends, just like in the in the Digitact and, yep, yep, yep. and uh, Electron world. Um, so yeah, uh, don't be afraid to come in there and mess yeah, with yeah. Your, uh, your settings there. Okay. Great. Um, let's go back up. Go ahead and adjust this to be something that you're going to be okay listening isn't, to for a little bit. It's just that. <laughs> uh, there is a way, by the way. Yeah. Um, if you, so um, let me just double check so I don't tell you wrong. Um, that delete command will uh, defaultize any uh, parameter. So the, um, so edit option, uh, edit rolled into option. Yeah. Um, edit will uh, defaultize uh, anything. So just use your thumb to smash uh, like chorus was already set up at zero. So if you like, for instance, put dry all the way down. Yeah. And then smash option edit, uh, you would re uh, restore that to uh, its default value. Option edit's the delete uh, command. So this is option edit, not edit option. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, it's, <laughs> that's a really good question. Shit. No, but it was, it was, it was option edit. Uh, I, not, I think in oh, this. No, edit option this, as well. Yeah, I think in this case smashing, it works. Uh, basically, smashing them both will return it to its default value. Mm -hmm. Which is really useful if you're just like, okay, well, I messed around a bunch and you know, I just want to get it back like to where it. it was. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, uh, go ahead and hit play. Make sure this is what you want. That's what I want. Okay, great. Um, so let's go ahead and go um, hit the left... Uh, Excuse me. Uh, let me use my words properly. Go all the way back to your um, uh, chain view. So where you entered all phrases See. in there. Yeah. Okay. So you could have a, uh, let's see, six, you could have a four bar phrase where nothing changes. Like, like theoretically, you know, like that, that would be fine. Like I guess in some types of music, you could have four bars of, of, something that don't ever change like maybe just like a kick drum but even mm. with a kick drum i like to sometimes do a little well, bit of yeah. variation Defo. So, okay so there's a couple ways to make this easier in the mate and this is one of the most important things that um that you'll learn um let me make sure that i've got it right okay uh because i don't want to tell you wrong okay so in order to select something for copying, um, you hold down shift and press option. Hold down shift. Push. 
Okay, so now <laughs> you'll see that it has turned a wonderful shade of red. Um, it is a nice if shade. You, if you hit edit right now, oh, I'm sorry, uh, we have to have that, uh, hold on. Um, let's go ahead and, and uh, uh, undo that shift option. So just hit shift option again. Shift option, oh, oh my God, more is just- Oh no, more, oh no. More, more red, ah! <laughs> Okay, there you go. Oh, so what gosh. we need to do is um, we're going to, uh, we're going to hold down shift. Oh, hold down shift. Hit the option button and then hit the edit button. Do a, so a thumb roll. No, no, no. You don't have to do any kind of crazy thumb roll. Now hit edit. While holding shift. Correct. Mate. Okay. So this just did something called cloning a phrase. Uh, it cloned it. So it took everything that you had in one and cloned it to the next available phrase. So this is the way that you can take this the information you have in a singing. phrase. This is tremendously useful. Yes. Right? Yes. <laughs> yes. I see how this will be used. Yes, I've got it. Well, uh, yeah. So, so it's it's taken one. It's copied it to two. Mm -hmm. And it's therefore made it distinct. So we can have yes. a little flourish. So now you can flourish. edit to and have a little flourish. So yeah. go ahead and go in there and and do a little so, do a little dance. <laughs> so you'd never <laughs> ask. So I just went right. When I go right, mm -hmm. why am I seeing phrase two and not phrase Because you have phrase two highlighted. Because it's it's because I was my little yellow guy was mm -hmm. on a, a ph. Mm -hmm. And when you go right, you go right for the pH Into you are. that. Yeah. Yes, correct. And okay. the same will go for any ch uh, chain that you're looking at in song mode. Wonderful. Uh... I'm kind of wishing that we had the scales on that. <laughs> it's okay. Like a little bit of a little bit of a uh, like atonalness for like an acid line is fine. Would you like to maybe add like like a little slide or something? Yes, I would definitely like a slide. Where would you like a slide? Uh, maybe around here. Okay, so a slide's going to be in effect. Go ahead and um, hold. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. Uh, um, if you. Oh no, what is it? Oh, oh. Ah, ah, oh, I've forgotten how to do this. I pushed uh, edit. Oh, that's okay. Um, there's a way to, oh, okay. So um, uh, by hold, hold edit Yeah. and hit up. Shit, man. That's what I wanted. Yeah, I wanted the big lip. Oh, but hold it down. Okay. Hold yeah, keep it, it down. Held. Now, hold this has been updated down. recently to show um, uh, little, little tables of things with, um, uh, a heading. So current instrument, these are all the things that you can adjust about your, your braids right now. Um, so you'll notice we have like timbre and color. Those are things that the braids oscillator has associated with it. Yeah. Uh, pitch fine. Um, the oscillator type. Uh, so you know, you're using seesaw right now, but you could, um, you could, uh, pin to each step a different oscillator that's, if you yeah, want to. That's ridiculously good. Yeah. Okay. And not to not to get too crazy, but like there's a way to um put in a command and then after that you say randomize that command for yeah. every step forward. Ugh. So you could just have it randomly pick an oscillator for every step if you wanted to, which is super cool. Um so you can see we have our uh, envelope uh, settings here. We have our LFO settings, all kinds of shit. Uh, mixer and effects if we go up to that. These are going to be things so when, like when I went up there, I see. So it's it's it, the orange it's, thing it's, is showing you. These are all of the big table of things for current instrument. These are the, this is the big table for mixing effects, and this is mm -hmm. the table. Just understanding what I'm actually looking at. I'm looking at a yeah. kind of exploded like list of things for each of those headers. The cool thing here is, so it used to all be on one page, but I feel like they collapsed it into this thing so that you could get on t on the top. Um, the, this probably must have been here before, but like you can see on the top, uh, there is information on how each effect works and what it's called. Um, so uh, mm. things like cha, uh, you know, oh, it's chance. Cha. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> cha. Um, <laughs> we're going to want, uh, let's see. It's That's a lot of good stuff here. Where was, yeah, is it, was it Ben PSL. Note? PSL. PSL. Be ben Note is really fun too. Um, but go ahead and pick PSL. Pistol. Pistol. Okay. So um, then you have to give the piss value. Uh, so you need to choose um, how many uh, slot, how many note, uh, excuse me, uh, 
ticks. notes or ticks. Let's talk about ticks real quick because um, <laughs> they're a little confusing. I'm coming in person, I need to talk about ticks. Um, anyway, ticks are here. <laughs> so let's let's make this kind of um, easy to understand. When you have that at zero, if you if you're holding down edit and you hit the right arrow, um, you're going to notice that it starts incrementing in ticks. How many ticks does it take before you get one step? Um, oh, it takes what? It takes six ticks. Okay. The mate un has an underlying time value of 24 PPQ. Okay, yeah. So the, a tick is one of those 24 PPQ. It's a little confusing, um, but uh, it means that we get a, a lot of resolution underneath yeah. there. So if you want something to occur in between a, a step value, you're going to be thinking in ticks. Yeah. Uh, and so um, for a slide uh, happening this quickly, you're probably going to end up wanting to use a tick value. So maybe maybe try like four ticks and see how that sounds to you. That's cool. All right. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and then you want to try uh, you, you want to try bend note? What? Bend note's really, really fun. Oh fuck! I had it in my, had it in my head. Oh, well, uh, see what I'm not. I'm gonna copy that. Oh wait, no. Get rid of that. Edit. Eh. <laughs> Can I do that with that? Yeah. Ooh. That's sort that's of cool. what I wanted in my head. Like, okay. Sorry, Wait. I got excited. No, no, first. that's no, no. You, this is the thing about the mate, uh, and and well, it's a thing about trackers in general. But I think specifically because of the way you interact with the mate, it's going to provoke a lot of ideas. It's gonna, mm. it's gonna like make you think. Oh man, I want that. I want like. Well, oh, I can just do that. Happen. Yeah, and you're, and you just do it. Like, mm. like, like there, there is no excuse not to act on every idea that you have in your head. Yeah. as long as you can keep up with it and give it a try, you know, like. So it's really, really fun because you have so much control over at each step. Um, you will start thinking in a very sort of hands-on um, kind of like like deterministic way, which is very powerful, um, more, it, more so than in a doll, I think, because of the way that each step is like crafted. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah. Cool. it's super cool. Good. Um, would you like to add some drums to this? God, yes. Okay, let's do that. Finally. So... Um, <laughs> Let's go on back. Uh, um, we're going to hit shift uh, left until we're back in song mode. Okay. Great. Um, and now uh, we'll pick a track for drums. Um, you know, two is fine in this case. Uh, we could do seven or eight. I generally do like... Do you keep them off to the side? I usually... Eight's usually my like riser and effect channel. Um, seven is going to be like, uh, let me think about how I did this in the last album. It was one and two were my main samples. Like the things that really got the track going, uh, three was, I think generally bass. And the only reason I did that is because I usually use track three on the digitac for bass. If I was going to do that there, which is kind of like a little mental connection four and five were, uh, four was kick snares. Fives were like hi hats, and percussion six was uh, break beats and seven was like mm. some other effect or something like that you don't have to do that that was like very specific it seems to, like, to like how i was working. i see the sense in what like what you're doing is because obviously there is no bloody track naming is there so it's just like nope. actually having some kind of you know framework some kind of yeah. mental framework just helps you just understand what the hell is going on in your when you're staring at a page of fucking hexadecimals <laughs> like what the fuck is where's the snare in all that hex yeah. like that makes sense that you would have a a bit of a system for how you lay out tracks so let's say that we put it on seven right okay let's just sure. do that so um we well, let's start let's do it on six because it, okay. you, i think three tracks for drums um would probably be okay. And the reason for that is going to become real obvious. So um, go ahead and uh, create a, a 60 uh, chain on there. 60. Oh, yes. Uh, so for, because we're keeping things organized. Because we're doing it on six. Yes, I see. 
Yeah. yeah sure, sure. All right. Uh, so let's go into there. Um, uh, and let's go ahead. And uh, now we're staying really organized with our chains on the song mode. I don't really give a shit about phrases. So what I'll do here is I'll just double click the edit button to give me the next blank phrase. And I'll just populate that in up in there. So, uh, so we don't three, need three, to three, three. be too precious about phrase and it's more chains. I personally don't like th there's so much phrases being created. Um, phrases are where you're going to like doing a lot of cloning and iterating and like making like little variations um, here and there, like being precious about phrases. It would slow me down so much in, in creating in the mate. What so I just, I generally don't. What would happen if I, used phrase one here which i know we're using in the would it start playing that it would weird play it that would play that, that weird little thing that we made in the other channel mm -hmm. effectively mm -hmm. yeah okay yep i see so you could do that but the point is you don't in order you double tap in order to create something you know is distinct unique to this chain and mm -hmm. you can just do your busy work and not get yeah not worry that yeah. you've used up something that's being used in another pattern and presumably if you went in here and messed with phrase one you would, it, it, you would you mess would F, with the other I would chain. F up yeah. Our cool. Yeah. Anyway, cool. Got exactly. It. No, you're absolutely right. So since all of these are the same phrase, if you hold down a shift and move to the right with the right arrow, uh, you'll enter, you know, essentially your entire chain there because you only have one phrase. Yes. So um, here, uh, what are you thinking? Like four on the floor or do you want like a break beat? Breaks. Scott, we got to okay, do a break beat. Do you, let's see if we have... Um, uh, sample for that. Uh, go ahead and just put a note down. Um, just okay, great. Um, now remember how we could double click edit to create uh, to move to a blank uh, phrase. We can do the same thing with instrument. So if you move the arrow over to I, which is currently on that instrument that you created with the braids uh, oscillator, mm. um, if you uh, double click the edit, you'll move to the next blank one. And you can see down yeah. at the bottom, it says none. none. If you move that, if you hit edit and move that back to the right again, um, you, you would, uh, no, to the left, I'm sorry. Yeah. It would be you macro can see synth. how it says macro synth. Yeah. And you can actually name every instrument. So you, you could get a lot of information just by looking at like that bottom part of the yeah. screen while moving through instruments. Yeah. Okay. So let's move over to the right, shift right. And now we're in our instrument. So we're probably going to use a sampler for this. Um, you know, if you feel sassy, uh, oh, you can make drums with the uh, FM synth. You could also make drums oh, yeah. with um, the braid synth. And I guess you could make drums with the chiptune oscillator as well. You know how to do all that stuff. But here we're going to um, somehow uh, find a break beat. So hit load. Okay. So um, have you loaded anything on here? I think I've just got like the default kind of stuff maybe i have i don't know let's okay. find out that's okay so, drums so, so drums are gonna have a lot of drum hits in them um but i want to like putting down a drum hit isn't really that big a deal like it's it's just putting down like a, a trig let's go ahead and do it just to you know get it in our system if we hit hits have, pick a drum machine you know any drum machine 707 Dut. yeah uh if you <laughs> so there's a way to preview this here and i just want to make sure i know what i'm talking about do, 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 do load drums it's 707 oops I feel like oh, the guy in quantum leap harry dean <laughs> is it harry dean, dean stanton what was he called you know with ziggy uh, oh, oh ziggy <laughs> yeah do you remember ziggy <laughs> ziggy says the odds that's right good oh gosh i've i've i'm losing my mind here um there's a way to like preview this um Oh, if you hit play on the sample, sorry. There you yeah, go. Makes sense. So you'll 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 be doing a lot of uh, arrow down, uh, spam the play button um, to find the samples that you want. Right. <laughs> and that's why I bought this device. Three hours later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, pick that kick drum. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Um, so that's that's it uh, for this. So uh, go ahead which is to say that it's just one sample. A sampler has one, one sample in it. One it sample. Yeah. It doesn't have like a bank of samples in it. It's not like a nope. drum rack in Ableton. No. No. Uh, so hit shift left. Shift left. Now you put down a note that is not C three. 
Uh, and I believe, uh, is it C3 or C4 that's the default? I think it's C4. Uh, I think it's C4. It's yeah. definitely C4, yeah. So just keep that in mind. Uh, pitch, uh, they're, they're pitchable. Um, and there is an upper limit to how high you can make them go. Um, based, on, you See how it topped out there? Like, Oh, yeah. Yeah. So oh, yeah, these with, are all like, the same. Sample rate. Yep. That's the deal sample go. rate. Something, something so, sample rate. If you were to put... <laughs> You know what? Let's go. Let's build a breakbeat out of individual hits. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, go ahead and create your kick drum pattern um, that you want. Uh, so, do you want those one at like G one and shit? Uh, oh fuck! Oh no! <laughs> oh, I went down into the pit. I nearly fell in. <laughs> shit! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing my special outfit. <laughs> Uh, maybe. Well, uh. Cool. That almost so, sounds rhythmic. Let's go with that for now. So one of the things, and this is just like with the electron workflow, is that you sometimes don't care and don't doesn't matter, but other times you want to make the most of every single pattern. If you were doing a four on the floor beat here, you would have a kick on zero, four, uh, let's see, uh, zero, zero, four, four eight, and eight C. And C. <laughs> um, but and, and having done that, you would not be able to put a snare on top of that because yeah. the tree has been occupied. However, with a breakbeat, we don't have that problem. Yeah. So we can actually put our snares on four and C, um, and we're going to do that um, because what we're going to do is put a trig down. Oh, just hit edit. Yeah. Um, go ahead and default it to uh, to C um, or or make it C. So use either edit. I think you just want to use edit. C one. And then you can uh, C four. So put it put it at its like normal pitch. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, go ahead and change the instrument to two. Now nothing's gonna. You aren't gonna hear anything because you haven't put anything on to. Oh, hold on. I want to. I want to. Oh, sorry. I want to show you how to copy. So go uh, go to that C. Yeah. That one that you just created. Yeah. Go over there. Now hit uh shift and uh hold shift and hit the option button and hold that shift button. Okay. Yep. So you've just selected one column of your information here. Yeah. There are up to six columns here. Okay. With that shift button held, don't let go until I say hit the right arrow. Oh god, I'm so sorry. I did it wrong. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, well, how does this work? Okay, uh, I'm sorry. Let's pretend that uh, we're starting over again. Okay, so uh, hold down shift and hit option. Shift, option. Now hit option again. Option again. <gasps> All right, don't worry. That's just, well, that's a column. You know, that could be useful. Yeah. Hit option again. Oh, yeah. All right, there we go. I so see. that's what we're going to use. Now um, uh, let go of shift and hit option. Okay. You can tell you it just said yeah. copied selection. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to make sure I got this right too. Copied selection. Go down to where you want to put that. So in oh. this case, it would be C. Yeah. And uh, hold shift and press edit to paste. Boop. Yeah. Now, if you, it'd be a little bit more obvious if you had stuff in every but single it, column. It, the point here is it didn't just copy C4, it copied the whole row. Whole thing. Yeah, exactly. So we did that so, by going shift, option, option, option. option. Yeah. It gave us and our you options. Hit, go, hit it again. Hit it again. Uh, All the options. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I see. Boop, boop, boop. And then uh, letting go. Which hand do you do this little crab claw to do this? Do you? How do you? How do you do it with your hand? What's I am the... always holding the mate with like 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 a, a, oh, a yeah. Game Boy like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Doesn't it? You can't see my hands, but I'm I'm doing what you do now. So, I can see your hands. Can you? Yeah. There's a camera is focused that, on is, your... Is that all you can see? <laughs> yes, what that's all you can you see? see. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank <laughs> God. <laughs> I am, of course, fully closed. So did shift, shift, option... Do I have to edit to copy? So, no, no. Option to copy, edit to paste. I see. There then once I've... So we go shift, option, option, option. Let go, option. And then, and then go shift, edit. Shift, edit. And that mm -hmm. did a paste. And that continues to be in your buffer if you wanted to paste it like all okay. over the place. Doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, so we need to go put a uh, 
an inst- uh, something on that instrument because right something now it's on blank. Two. Yeah. Yep. And what I want you to do is uh, hit play. All right. Let's go ahead and hit shift right to go. It. Uh, you can keep it playing. I want. I want. I want to sort of give you the experience of like previewing while you uh, create the instrument. Hi. So. Um, Go ahead and uh, if you hit, hold down edit and hit to the right to uh, scroll through the things, um, you'll start to hear that trig preview. It sounds just like a dog barking. <laughs> I know, sorry about that. <laughs> now I want a sample of a dog going, wow. I see. So this can be useful. Where's my uh, feedback amount? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to make a snare with an FM. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, kind of. You're gonna have to edit the um, the uh, volume envelope, probably. Fuck, it's bad, isn't it? That's not bad. Yeah, I mean, it's like it's pretty cool, isn't it? It's just like. Do you remember your Do you remember where your mod pages? Yeah, there you go. Uh, wow. Wait, I wanted that. Boom. Boom. I mean, fuck you, Otaka. How hard can it be? <laughs> <laughs> this is what they do, isn't it? Uh, thank you. Whoop. Okay. You'll have to go down and turn your filter. I am, oh, yeah, your filter yeah, is down. Yeah. Uh, but no, I know. Uh oh. No, it's not, not doing very much, is it? Uh, yeah, that's weird. Um, oh. go ahead and. Huh. Oh, oh, hey, bud, 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 bud. Uh, you're you're editing the wrong instrument right now. <gasps> I've just been fucking up my I've been fucking up my bass. I fucked up my bass. So if you uh if you um Is there uh, an undo on this under I don't Is, think so. No. Oh god. I'm do you know sorry, what? what? My bass wasn't all that special after all. I can probably redo it. But how did I move <laughs> it how did I flip onto this how do I then move to instrument two from this page or there's a couple ways you can do it. So if you hit sh if you hold shift and hit left. Shift left. You'll go back to the phrase you were in, and when you and hit shift you go, right, right, you'll go back now inside. Now I'm looking at my. Yeah. But if you if you hold option on this page and use the arrows, you'll be able to move back and forth through your oh, um, yeah, instruments, yeah. which is likely how you accidentally ended up on uh, your your bass. Because <laughs> you can see, because you can see, you're not you're not on the right one now either, right? You're on the <laughs> kick drum. So you want to go to instrument two. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh. Drunk with power as I was, I was uh, edit. I'm not sure if the filter self resonates or not. Yeah, that's quite good. Okay, cool. I might. And you can use the dr yeah, like dry and and chorus to uh basically uh, uh mix it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it is getting a bit autaker, isn't it? That's good. I like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the All reverb's right. kind of cool on it. All right. Um, so great. So you, you've made a really good use of this pattern. Uh, you have kick and snare in it. That's pretty damn good. You know, like um, making the most of a pattern and getting the most dense information out of it musically is, is one of the cool things about trackers. I wouldn't necessarily put like hi hats and percussion see, in this. I see what you're saying here. Cause you basically, what we, we haven't got much room to add hi hats, have we? I mean, no. we, we couldn't, no. and we certainly couldn't. I want to show you. Yeah, I want to show you how to slice. So, like, that's fine. Yeah. Um, but let's go ahead and um, if you were to be in this phrase page here and hold shift and press play, hold shift and press play. I think I did, but okay, maybe I got it wrong. Um, it's okay. Uh. Go ahead and hit shift left uh, to go back to your uh, song. Yeah. Uh, uh, song this going. one. Yeah. Okay. So um, if you're in this mode here um, and you hit play, what do you get? Oh, I think we fucked up the bass so much we, we can't hear it anymore. We massively fucked yeah. up. Maybe yeah. I can resurrect our little friend. 
I think so we got dry. Change the filter back to. Oh, there we go. Change the filter back to low pass. There we go. And I think you messed up your um, your modulators a little bit. <laughs> What's mod both? Yeah. Uh, I don't I like, know, actually. I like that. You can just skip through this and just kind of hear what it's yeah, doing. Yeah, exactly. It's yes, fun. yeah, yeah. Uh, volume. Whoa. Holy shit. And then we'll bring. Oh, that's cool. Might just back off a little. Okay. Anyway, we've got. Uh, right. So we'll return. To no, here. no. Oh. Go, go forward because I, now that now that we've got this fixed, I want to show you something. Okay. So if you hit play right now, you're only hearing what's in the phrases of the chain that you're currently in. Yes. Hit, hold shift and press play. I get you. There we go. Okay. Now that fuck yeah. So, I like how the snare is doubling as a bit of a percussion thing. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost tuned, isn't it? It's like. Pew, pew. That's rad. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's create a slice addition to this. Um, like a break. Yeah. Exactly. Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, it might. Yeah, we'll see what we got access to. Let's go ahead and go back to our song. Um, and let's go ahead and pick seven as our breakbeat uh, thing, since it's right next to our drums. Okay, um, shift left to go into the chain view, and um, let's go ahead and use the double edit trick to add some blank phrases. In this shift. case, it's going to be up. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that so many times. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, great. Yeah. So phrase four. Um, Go ahead and just put a note down for right now. It doesn't really matter. And then we'll go to our instrument and we can use the double edit technique to go to the next blank instrument. I'm learning okay, great. well from your master. <laughs> you got it. You're flying around. The speed that you will uh, eventually, um, like if you decide to like, like make the mate part of like your regular practice. Make the mate um, my like, mate. If you, yeah, no, for real. Like, like I, for me, it was like, I was using it a lot on, um, on like commute times um, or whenever I wanted to play video games at night, I was playing with the mate and the speed that you will develop with it eventually is really fun. Yeah, baby. There you go. <laughs> um, all right. Shift right uh, to go into your instrument. Yeah. Now uh, we're going to go to sampler um, and uh, we're going to pick a loop that we want to, to slice. So go ahead and hit load. I'm sorry, my friend. Yeah, uh, you really threw that. I mean, I kind of, for, for comedic <laughs> effects, maybe a little too hard. She's old. Okay. All right, so let's go into packs. Electronic sounds. All right, drum loops. Okay, so we're at 136 right now. Um, we don't really, do we have, we have 136, but we can always like, um, well, that's oh, yeah. pretty good. We can repitch stuff and with yeah. slicing, it might not even matter. Do you like that break? I think I like that break. All right. Yeah. Pretty good. So go sound. ahead and hit edit. Edit. Yep. Okay. So if we wanted to, um, let's go ahead. No, don't hit edit there. Right, let's, just go, got excited. let's go ahead. And, let's go ahead and go back to the um, to the, the the phrase. And yeah, so you have used samplers that and and that don't time stretch. Yeah, indeed. That's from the era I came from uh, mm -hmm. back in the nineties. So you know that in order to get this up to 136, you would need to pitch it. Yeah. Up. Okay. Yeah. So because it's because of math, um, you might it might not just be going from C to C sharp. Uh, you might need to do some kind of um, fine tuning. And with the effects, you can do that. Uh, there. Oh, actually, go to the right again. Sorry. There might actually be a little bit of fine tuning in here. We got detune. Yeah. So there's a detune uh, function in here. So. You can that, use that a combination of up tune. Uh, what's an, what's yeah. going up? Up tune. <laughs> up to, what's up tune? What's up tune? What's up tune? I don't know tune. You. <laughs> so we can use this to, um, you know, like get a loop to just fit to a tempo uh, with the, you know, of course, like pitching it up or down, like the old, the old good stuff did, hardcore and shit like that.
200 BPM bangers. <laughs> all right. Um, uh, remember that you can use the delete command to reset that to its uh, yes. uh, option edit option role. Edit, there you yeah. go. Let's do some slicing. Okay. So up above, you'll hear, you'll see that we have slice. Yeah. Um, the the it's off. We're not slicing right now. Holding edit and and moving, you're going to notice that we start off with the word file. So um, we can add slice points in the edit menu that you were hovering over there. Mm -hmm. You want to hit? Uh, just just take a look at it real quick. <gasps> just just look at it. Oh, Ooh, baby. It looks yeah. like a synclavia. Love it. <laughs> Yes. So you can add slice markers in here using the slice marker um, thing. Uh, the first <laughs> column a is zeros here. It's a lot of zeros. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, the first uh, thing is your slice number itself, and then um, the second thing is its position. Um, and then you would save that when you are done. So there's uh, we don't need to spend a lot of time in here. Um, I just wanted to show you how that would work. Uh, it's so, hexadecimal as well, so left so and right will give you small amounts. So sh explain. Oh, fuck it. Oh, look at that roll. <laughs> uh, so hang on. <laughs> Show me how I would choose, put two slices in here, for example. Okay, sure. So go back down to slice marker. Yeah. Uh, go to um, uh, one. Yeah. Go to the, uh, hit the right arrow and go there. Now pick a, pick a time that you want to put a slice marker on. Uh, how about the very beginning? Great. Uh, now go to the left, go to two. Okay. Now see how it reset. Yeah. So I now see. you can pick. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. So um, go ahead. Go go to your slice markers now. The la that one, and now hit. Yeah. So you can see how it shows uh, where the marker will be. Yeah. Now, in order to make this work, you have to save. But I don't want to do that because we don't need to save the okay. slice marker. But in theory, there. you could laboriously. Is there a sort of auto slice? Not by transient. No. Yeah. Um, like, but we have by region. And honestly, for breakbeats and for a lot of things, I find by region to be um, how I like to do Is it. Is region uh, just like arbitrarily slicing it into 16ths or whatever? Yep. Or 8ths mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. And uh, what else is it that does that? Some of the... Well, the, the, that's how the Digitact works. And yeah. it's oh, the usually Octatrack. An, the Octatrack yep. does that, doesn't it? That's what I was thinking. Yeah. About. Yeah. It's usually an option in a lot of samplers because uh, it's actually one of the better ways, I think, to slice certain types of breakbeats. Um because you want uh, a bit of the, you want some of the extra stuff with it. You don't just want the hit. You want the hit and the dude. Yep. Yeah. The dude. <laughs> oh, Absolutely. Right. Yeah, yeah. All uh, right. So let's go ahead and um, hit shift left, I believe. Shift uh, it, it might, exit. and, and it's going to ask you, go ahead and hit okay. It's all right. Okay. Edit. Bam. So that's uh, that's how you can use file to add slice so marks. file um, was that, is, is manual slicing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. One thing I haven't looked into is whether or not it's possible to add, like, if there's any external program that will honor markers uh, in here. Um, like, the Morphogene uses uh, standard uh, markers from, like, Audition stuff to mm. use its splice points. I don't know if there's an external program that will do that, mm. and, and th it will be readable by this. It'd be cool if there was, but I'm not sure if there is. Um, so, uh, this, how many slices you slice this up to uh, is... It's okay. Don't worry about, don't worry about it. You're fine. Uh, you had to hold edit. And um, why don't we put this up to like 16? So then, so the first one is file. And then mm -hmm. from here, this is dividing it into two, into three, into four, into yep. up into hexa. Yeah. <laughs> hexa fucking what? What is 16? Hey, actually, this is not, this is not hexadecimal. Oh, it's, it's no, it isn't. Few things that's I, <laughs> well, it says slice 10, but it's actually giving me an orange number 16 there. Oh, I see. Yes. 16 is the amount of slices you now have. This breakbeat's a bit long, so I think 16 is going to work for us. Okay. All right. We can now slice. Let's go over uh, shift left okay, to go back to our phrase so page. Check it. <laughs> now, if you hit play, nothing's happening. I was disappointed. And that's because sl <laughs> slices start at C1. So um, go ahead and. Oh, hello. right in the bottom. Uh, <laughs> so what I like to do is uh, determine um, how, what the interval is. I now need to put my uh, notes in between. Uh, like, do I have to put it on eighth notes? Go ahead and put a C sharp 
one at um on like two. Okay, so we could actually divide this into 32 if we wanted even more. Because right now the slices are like a whole beat long. That's really long. Right. So um let's go back to the uh the slice page or the sample page and change that up to 32. Interesting. Sort of change that. Okay, cool. Oh, so now you can so that, now this is yeah. So now the yeah. the snare is there. You've like yeah. you've, you've divided it across more keys on the keyboard. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So now you can now you can design your like make a little break beat in here. Um, however you want. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! It's starting to get funky. <laughs> Is there a way to like mute the bass so we could just hear the drums? What would be your probably, but I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, what well, you can just get rid of the pattern if you want. There is this mix of <laughs> yeah. There's this mix. Oh yeah, use the mixer. Use the mixer. Yeah, just turn so it this down. This is. Turn is it down. That... Oh baby. Since you're in the mixer page here, uh, let's go ahead and take a quick moment to uh, appreciate yeah. everything we have here. Um, specifically, uh, the you can see that we have USB input, we have audio input, um, and you can send those to both the chorus, the delay, and reverb. The most important thing here is... Oh, um, I see. So that you... Yeah. You could have an external device and just sort of pass it through. Correct. That's useful. Yeah. Super. The limiter and the and, and the mixer, the mix uh, and lim. Um, so if you go ahead and hit play right now and start increasing the lim amount, see how it says peak dB and it's like actually changing now. Yeah. So and then up at the top of the volume um, meter, you'll see a little white I see bar. It. It's a little, yeah. little, little output. The uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know how familiar you are you are with the uh, the OP1, but the OP1 had this like uh, like limiter on the master channel that was like quite frankly magic and every single time it. I like the driver. Yeah. Yeah. The, the limiter in here can do not too far away from that kind yeah. of vibe. Um, it's, it's just, it's really nice to just like pump your shit it's, through it a it's little like bit. It's like a little, not tape, but it, you use it as a sort of overall effect just to kind of yeah. give stuff. Yeah. Just to give me that. a little slammy feel, you know, like a yeah. tiny bit of slam. And then, you know, your output volume, you can turn that down if it's getting too loud for you um, or the mix volume. Yeah. Uh, this is a DJ filter. Um, it's a low pass, high pass. Hi, uh, so DJ you play filter. And... Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And there's somewhere, and I'm sorry, I don't remember the, the uh, way to get to this, but there is an XY screen that you can get on here that allows you to adjust that in real time. And I just don't know where it is. I, I, it's not, I've i never used it. I've never used the mate in a live way, unfortunately. You can, can you map this to a MIDI parameter? MIDI you absolutely can. A knob. Yep. So you yep. could have your little DJ filter. So if you were using this as a kind of your little live... Yep. You know, right. Yeah, and and there's some there's some really impressive live uh, mate musicians out there. There's a, a local guy named uh, Mikey three hundred three, uh, who's got a few videos online of him performing, um, and it's just rad, super super cool. Looking for a hat. Ooh, Ooh. Oh, that's good, isn't it? That's pretty damn good. Can I repitch it? Ed? Do I have to use an effect? Yes. Because obviously, yes. I've got. You would. Uh, yeah. Yep. But it, yeah. So uh, go ahead and remember you, you're going to hold edit and press up. Thank you. Oh. And hold it down. You're going to. Yeah. So it's, it's going to be. Um, Pit. So I'm not sure if pitch, try it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, that seems to work how it's supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. 
need to be a bit more like organized. Yeah, quite like nice. That. Let's that. just go with okay, cool. it. nice and simple. All right, great. Yeah. Um, so that's the basics of slicing. Um, you, you've already seen that, you know, if you want to repitch an individual slice, you have effects for that. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of really cool effects you can use on this stuff. There are things like um, ratchets and stuff like that. I'm not going to make shit your piss pit. <laughs> wow. Um, you hadn't could considered that, be, that. Could that be the title of the video? Could you rat shit your piss pit? Rat shit your piss pit <laughs> with, with, the, with a dirty wave mate. A wonderful, it is a dirty wave. <laughs> oh, 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 God. No. oh, no. Oh, no. I've just realized what a dirty wave might oh, no. mean. <laughs> I uh, fully encourage you to explore the effects um, yes. when you when you feel like it, because uh, there's some really cool shit, um, yeah. and uh I'm not, we're not going to have time to go through all of them. But yeah, I mean, it's like, I get it. There's loads of cool stuff. It's the sequencer effects are going to be mostly what are going to be super fun. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, you can like parameter lock. You know, you mean, you know, the electron workflow is basically like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, so go, there's no go, filter on there. But. There's no filter on there. Right. Yeah. But did you see how it said relative? Yes. Okay. So. I don't, that's a, I'm glad you accidentally did that or on purpose did that because there are a lot of commands that are relative to the um, either the place that you've set the parameter inside the instrument yeah. or where it was last set by another effect. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah. So yeah. if you set cutoff, uh, if you put a cutoff command down here and then put it down like, like uh, you know, 20, it, uh, as far as I remember, relative now becomes that negative 20 value yeah. uh, next it, time. It, uh, it isn't going to arbitrarily shift the cut. So like if you decided you overall wanted the drums to be darker, you could like reduce the cut off and then everything would move relative to that rather than it suddenly would snap the cut off back to like a high value. And you're like, oh, right. Yeah. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. As far as I remember it. Okay. So we have sliced, we have, um, we've diced. Sensed. We've, um, let's talk about, um, uh, th that FE pattern that we made yeah. and um, why. Um, so I want you to go ahead and uh, you can bring your bass back in if you'd like. Remember, you turned it down in the mixer command. I did as well. Uh, it's the bottom of the piss pit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Oh, not sure let's, go, let's go back to uh, the song mode. Now, uh, to demonstrate this, I want you to put another 10 underneath that. Yep. Uh, I want you to put a, another 60 and another 70 underneath our fruit two friends over there. Oh, look at you so fast. Oh, okay, no. cool. And now on three, go ahead and put a 30. Just one. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and hit play. I see. Yeah. It's not advancing. What's what's not advancing? Well, like, I would expect this to sort of go down beyond, you know, go to one and sort of loop around, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's check out that. Let's, let's see what's going on there. Because well, I also feel like it should. I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> like, I, was, I had an example for you, and, like, it's not working exactly how I expected it to. Um... Mm -hmm. Oh, I know why. Uh, cause it's four, it's four bars. So go back to that. We just didn't, Sorry. we didn't like let it play enough. So hit play. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Oh, there, there we go. it goes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But, but 30 didn't move, right? Um, ah. uh, right. Like, so it didn't move it, like, like 30 would stay. Actually, let's make this really obvious. Go into 30 yeah. uh, and give yourself, uh, you know, a few phrases. Um, doesn't really matter uh, what they are. Oh. Uh, five, fives is fine. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Uh, oh yes. There we go. Uh, do you have four of them? I don't think you do. No, I did not. No, I did. Yeah. So do you have five of them now? I have four of them. Okay. So you actually can inadvertently make polymetric like patterns. It's, yeah. 
yeah, it's kind of a mess. <laughs> um, I want you to just go in there uh, and and put a, a single like like maybe like a crash or something on this first note uh, of five. Yeah. Uh, so so we'll come in here and then. Yep. Did I just create a new thing? And I go. You did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, no, <laughs> hey, hey, not bad, not bad. Uh, you're gonna want to, wow, okay, that's a big slap. <laughs> it's super pitched down because you were using the nice... wonderful. Yeah. So, let's go back now to um, our uh, our uh, song mode. Oh. True. There you go. It's better that way, isn't it? Oh, shit. Okay. What's wrong? You okay? Yeah, yeah I'm all good. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, oh, God, have I, where have I got? No, I'm in the right place. I'm fine. <laughs> go ahead and play. And, oh. Uh... Okay, so what just happened is the rest of your song advanced but yeah. 30 didn't it's 30 gonna didn't. stay there forever yeah until i we that's give it why we have FEs. a blank pattern yes FEs, so what you're, yeah you're gonna need to put one of those anywhere that you like the song is gonna basically be a pattern yeah. that's playing or an fe pattern yeah like I like in every mean. single column the whole time um, and you can see that the, the mate was nice enough to show you that FE is blank by giving it a different color. Oh, so yeah. that can be really helpful. All right. So we are now in the sort of like grab bag of tips and tricks. Um, let's talk, uh, talk, let's talk, let's talk about <laughs> why did you become Irish in that moment? <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about, oh God, I can't know. I'm not going to continue that. <laughs> let's talk about uh, the <laughs> idea of cloning chains because- yes. <laughs> um, remember how I was like, all right, I like to think in fours, eight, sixteens, and thirty twos. We've just made an eight bar phrase. And for me personally, um, I like to uh at the end of an eight bar phrase have like a little flourish or something like that that's bigger than the four bar phrase. Yeah. But I don't want to have to reproduce, I don't want to have to go in, create a new chain, put in all of the patterns, and then um, and then clone a pattern. Uh, I, I want to do it a little differently. Uh, I want to make it easier. And the mate has something here that will help you with that. So go ahead and go over to your uh, second 10 pattern. Uh, yes. Hold shift. Yes. Um, and you're going to keep shift held throughout this process until I tell you to not. I promise Hit I will. option. Yeah. Remember that selects. Yeah. All right. So hit edit. Clone okay, that's chain. fine. We're going to use this just an example of what a clone chain is. So remember the, the hierarchy for this thing is chains are full of patterns and uh, phrases, excuse me, and those phrases have our note data uh, and all our sequence data in them. So what you just did is you made a new chain number and inside that chain looks exactly like your the, the chain that you cloned it from. So 10 and 11 right now are identical inside of them. They have the same phrases yeah. inside exactly. So this is useful if you don't want to make a bunch of changes to what's going on in the phrases. So for instance, uh, go ahead and go into 11 now. I'm still holding on to up, uh, shift. Oh, you can let go. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can oh, let go. God. <laughs> Uh, go, go on in there. Um, and so this is exactly what 10 looks like. But what if you wanted that a uh, bigger flourish at the end? Yeah, number so two. So remember, shift, hold, uh, hold, shift, hit option, and then edit. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. It's right. okay. It's okay. Hit option again. Wah, wah. Hold, shift, so, uh, option, and then edit. Yep. Oh, oh no, no. Uh, <laughs> what? You have to hold... Uh, sorry. You have to keep holding shift. So <laughs> sh this, is the, this is the tricky part, right? So shift option, then edit. I see. There we go. So now it made that phrase two cloned onto six. So you can I go totally into see what you're doing, that right? yeah. and, and make uh, more edits. So, so just for the sake of shits. Can, giggles, I, can I just thing. go, can I go like, oh, fuck. I wanted to like just shift them all up, transpose them all up at once. It's <clears> like <throat> a, a batch okay. operation or something. Yes. Um, so uh, what you're going to do is hold shift. Yeah. Oh, actually, can you uh, 
Oh, no, okay, you're in the right place. Um, hold edit and use the arrow keys to transpose them all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it is it not working? No, it did. Oh, okay, great. That is, Whoa, I think, I love it that. Is that's up, it is up an octave, so it's like that should be down one octave. Okay. That should be up. Yeah. Oh, at the end. Yeah. Now, what you just did could have been handled by the transpose function. So let's yes. take a look at that yeah, real yeah. quick. I remember. You. Go into eleven. Yeah. There it and is. And let's 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 transpose uh, the uh, the second one there. Uh, just go like up Shit. a seventh or something. You're gonna hold Shit. edit <laughs> and transpose it like like oh, put it up like seven or something. Yeah, yeah. I see. Now I do believe. Nice. <laughs> That's dope. <laughs> It's quite Nazi, isn't it? I love it. <laughs> it's interesting, yeah. It's just I'm not sure it's quite in key, but it's like I like the idea. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Cool. I'm it's not neat. like you don't have this in Ableton Live. You don't have a sort of transpose. Like a real time transposition tran thing. I mean you, there are yeah. way, obviously loads of ways you could do it, but not like this. This is a this the transposition thing here uh, using the transpose function like we just have is a really good argument for a regular chain clone because you don't want to do any new patterns you just want to do a different transposition yeah. to those patterns right um, so now that we've determined that we can clone a chain um, and and then go in and and make and, changes to that and make to the degree that we might want yeah what if you wanted to create completely new sort of stuff in there or wanted like like to to do destructive editing to those phrases in a way that that would mess up their previous iteration that's where we can use what's called a deep clone so let's go ahead and do that to uh, a different pattern let's go over to six and um let me make sure i got this right it's the okay i'm going to tell you this and then i'm going to tell you that we're going to walk through it step by step it's the exact same thing you did before but you hit edit twice so you hold shift yeah press option while holding shift and hit edit twice. Clone, clone chains and phrases. Yeah. So that's a deep clone. It cloned not only the chain, I but see, inside but all, all the, the phrases. phrases. Got, that's kind of what I thought you were doing before, but I, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, I, see. I wanted to show you you can do both. Yeah, so yeah, one yeah. is one edit click and the other is another so edit now this, click. So now this is all a new set of PHs. These are new phrases. Yeah. Interesting. So you can go, you can go, you know, barley shit on this. I don't think <laughs> barley that's... Barley shit. I don't, I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's a, it's a malted sort of multi form of shit that you can do. Oh no! Oh, oh yeah, this is John. Oh, you know what would be fun? Uh, go to that F. Go to that F two and go to your effects. Uh, oh so, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go over um, and use Bend Note. Uh, so uh, hit up, uh, hold edit and hit up and go to your sequencer effects and go to um, N, uh, P, B, N, P, B, N. Not P, B, J. And now you can bend the note up and it. down. Yeah, I can hear it. So. <laughs> yeah. now, that's a cool snare. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Oh, I want it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, interesting. The note will kind of bend for as long as it has mm -hmm. uh, before another event will happen to it, basically. Yeah. Uh, another event will happen in the chain. Okay. So that's that's deep clone and regular clone. Um, okay. Very useful when you're yeah. flipping around trying to make decisions. Um, the next thing I'd like to talk to you about that may be helpful to you is the kill command. Um, the kill command, um, it, it has a lot of different uses. Let's go into, um, I also want to show you the repeat command. We'll do these both together. So let's make a new pattern on five. Uh, yeah. Wait, not this fella. 
not that fella. We're gonna remember we're sticking oh, with yeah. uh, fives Fines. for yeah. yeah. Um, cool. Let's go in there and give ourselves uh, some phrases. Shit tits. <laughs> You're fine. You're <laughs> fine. You didn't do anything bad. Uh, there, there you go. <laughs> there go. All right. So what I want to do here is show I'm, you. I'm also, how... by the way, I'm I'm reminded here that it's using color as it's showing me that there is something on seven. Yes. And it's showing yeah, me correct. that there isn't something on eight with my pink. Absolutely. The scheme I've got anyway. Yeah, yeah, I, I got it. I'll yeah, I, I really like that scheme. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. But it's it also like it's a, just useful those cues that you're like, you're okay. There's nothing on that pattern. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's give ourselves a new instrument. Yeah. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and use something really simple for this. Um, uh, let's go into the instrument and pick a wave synth. Um, and I want you to go ahead and turn the filter on. Take that cutoff all the way down. Um, let's go up into the uh, the uh, modulators. Excuse me. Uh, you're probably gonna need the size for that to be so not just all the way down. Go back. Go back down to the instrument. Uh, okay. Sorry, that was a visual glitch. Size is fine. Okay. Go back up. Um, turn the volume on. And oh, actually, uh, no. Leave the volume off for this. Mm -hmm. um, we're just gonna leave it like this for right now because uh, I want to show you what happens. A really simple thing that happens. Um, that you might need to use the kill command for. And then I'll show you a more complicated thing that you might need to use the kill command for. Okay, so... To, to make a big long go. note, I think I know what we... So, yeah. So, yeah. basically, like I said earlier, these are free-running um, uh, oscillators. Yeah. Uh, Cage-free, free-running. Cage-free. Um, and They're free -range. there are situations <laughs> if... It, it, like, like, it's usually not an issue with oscillators um, because you're going to use the volume command and stuff like that on them. But if you have a sample that yeah. maybe is is you don't want it to uh, continue past a certain point and it, it yeah. has the ability to, yeah. you might need to use a kill command on it. Um, and I actually create, um, you know how we created the uh, FE pattern that's a blank one? I usually also create at the beginning of what I'm my thing, I create an FD pattern that is three kill commands uh, in the FX. And it just like, I'll, sh I'll put that in um, uh, when I need to make sure that nothing gets past a certain point. Right. Um, so it's sort of just like a little safety thing there. And I've used that quite a bit on things like um, uh, risers and uh, longer samples and stuff that I just don't want to uh, overhang a section. Um, but there's another really useful use for the kill command, and that is um, resetting the expectation of the effects. So um, go ahead and make yourself like a 16th note arpeggiator uh, arpeggio here uh -huh. just kind of go in and, and spam some spam some notes on each step um, beautiful that's fine doesn't really matter so um let's go back to the instrument low passes all the way down i want you to um uh go to the modulator that you've created and assign that to volume um we're going to use another command to play with uh the the cutoff uh, for the for this demonstration now yeah i know you can't hear the cutoff mm. right i can't well, hear I can't anything hear right anything, now because yeah. the cut the cutoff's all the way down so that's okay it's all right so what we're going to do is use a command called the repeat command, which will allow us to put a parameter down and then have it upward over time without us having to do every single tiny little bit. Um, the reason we're going to have our cutoff all the way down is because we're going to be manipulating the cutoff. So let's go back to our instrument, or excuse me, our um, pattern, and go into FX1. Yeah. And go to the instrument effects. Um, so edit up. Go to uh, current instrument and you want cut off. So C-U-T over to the left. Cut. Great. So um, if you were to go to that value, uh, to the right of that, the hexadecimal value, yeah, hold same. edit and, and move it around, um, you would eventually hear your instrument. And it's one of the nice things about note preview. Uh, you can go up and down, as you can see. We're already all the way down at zero. 
Yeah. So we can just uh, use the option edit uh, delete thing to reset that. That should work. Yeah, great. So zero, just right in the middle, right? So now we're going to put underneath that, uh, It's I think it's in the sequencer commands um, uh, effects. It's called uh, REP. Repeat there we go. last effect. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So right now, nothing is going to happen. Um, but uh, the value that you put in that field right there is how high the cutoff will be moved every step from there on. I see. For every step. Yeah. So it'll iterate. So if you put like, for instance, like five or so, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and hit, go ahead and hit play now. I hear it. It's going up. It's, it's like an accumulator. It is an accumulator. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> now, if there's, you can think of probably a lot of uses for this off the top of your head, but like uh, this kind of thing that we're doing right here, having a cutoff go up over time is one of the big ones for me. Another one is a snare rises mm. for me. Um, now, in order to make this work, we would probably need to go back to our uh, our f uh, phrase, our chain page to the left. Um, and let's go ahead and uh, copy. Uh, so we're going to make clones of eight. Uh, the, excuse me. We're going to make clones of the th uh, the last three. So starting on one. Yeah. Uh, that's one. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. Uh, shift option edit. Shift, shift option, option. Then let go of option. Oops. Uh, so it's okay. Shift option. And then hit edit. Yeah. Great. Uh, do the same thing to the one below that. Shift option edit. Mm -hmm. And below that. Shift option edit. Great. Let's go into that one right there and and get rid of those uh, those things that we have at the top there using the uh, edit option uh, delete. So thing. no cut, no wrap. Yep. Correct. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. We didn't need to actually clone anything more than just one. That's my bad because okay. we can just use phrase nine now. Um, but we're just going to we'll just continue with this because we might need to use the kill command because if we don't, this will never stop and it will affect the next instrument that you put in there. Okay. Um, like, like the, like the next thing that you have there, like it will just like continue to iterate the cutoff or the volume, uh, forever. So, um, uh, let's go into, uh, back to the page before this, uh, this one. Yep. Go to, uh, the one below and do the same thing. So kill it uh yeah sorry kill is not the right word here and then to that one too great so um go back go to the top and hit play and let's hear what happens i see it continues over the the bars yeah mm -hmm. oh, now what we're going to want to do is on that last one we're going to want to put a kill command at the very end um so go to there go to the last step and we're going to put a kill command in um, uh, the the column that we had the effect going on in. So that's FX this one. column. Yeah. Yep. So hold ahead and uh, hit shift. Uh, yeah, there we go. And it's going to be in sequencers and it's K-I-L. Kill. Kill. Now you have an option. Uh, it's how long before the kill command is executed. Uh, if you have it at zero, zero, it will be executed immediately. If you leave it, at, if it's at one, it'll be executed at the next step. So in this case, you know, either zero, zero or one probably be okay. I think probably one would be, the, uh, no, no, actual one, like, like one step. Uh, one step. Yeah. Cause that'll kill it uh, the next, the next step, which would make sense. So you're not going to hear any difference if you hit play right now. Um, than you did before, but what you've just done is, uh, you know, safeguarded the next pattern from um, continuing the upward trajectory of that cutoff frequency. Because with this current pattern, it was cycling round in a way that we were pleased about. But exactly. I see that if you yes. had a different pattern, that effect would literally continue into, mm -hmm. and there'd be no kill command to stop it. I see. Such a it's such a weird little thing yeah. that that uh, that I ran into, and I just I use it all the time now, so I wanted to um, let you know. No, it makes sense. Um, yeah. I think there are two more things that I want to show you, and then we can probably call it because uh, we've been at this for a while now. Haven't this we? is we have one hour and fifty on the clock. You have you, my friend, have been you've been a stalwart teacher of mates. That's what mates <laughs> are, are for. Two, I want to talk to you about grooves and tables. Um, so 
remember at the beginning of this whole thing, we saw that there was something that said groove uh, on the um, on the project page. I don't. It says. Oh, I do uh, now. So it's the third I, thing down. It her. says groove zero zero. Yeah. All right. So where's the groove page? Oh my god. Where is it? Where is it? Auburn quasar. <laughs> Open. Uh, is it? Oh, okay. So on that, on that right there, uh, hit shift, shift left, shift oh, left, right. shift Fuck. right, shift right. Oh God, I'm so sorry. Oh. Uh, go, go back, shift right. Groove. Okay. Look at that little guy. Look at that little guy it's go. Just okay. Grooving that little like orange triangle. In order for us to really under to hear this, we will go back to playing the whole song. You 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 have play going on right now, um, and that's why we, we you're seeing to- that. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it for right now. Um, the reason that uh, those two little ticks are going is because groove is where you determine the entire concept of timing for how the mate plays back. <sighs> Basically, those two sixes there add up to uh, a value that gives us straight 16th notes. You can adjust the, the those two values to get like swing. Yeah. So um, yeah. let's go ahead and go pl- uh, to back to your. Oh, actually, all you have to do is hit shift play. Okay. So if you were to change the first one to like um, two, and the second one to uh, let's see, uh, first one to four, the second one to eight, um, see what happens. So. Change, change the change the second one to eight. <laughs> so that's like a reverse swing, I think. Um, okay, stop, stop, stop. For the love of God, please stop. Okay. Let's go back to our let's go back to our song and get rid of fifty. Uh, just, Your fifty yeah, is kind of it. bullshit, isn't it? We can get rid of thirty-two. It's a little noisy. We don't need it. Okay. Um, I, I so, but yeah. Okay. Swing, so, like, hang on. So, because obviously, yeah. swing is like delaying Shorter every seconds. other note, isn't it? So, yeah. Effectively, you're you're getting you're getting manual control of each of the two things. Yes. That it, the timing values that it's alternating between, and thus we mm-hmm. can create customized swing. Yeah. So wow. um, if you go back to that and switch that to like, uh, when it says ahead. like you know when there's groove, yes, you you have the ability to automate through the song. Shit, there's man. a command to switch to different, different grooves throughout. Different grooves. Yeah, and since you can create you can create a groove that is essentially half time, um, uh, or, or double time, um, and that can be sometimes useful if you want to dip in and out of like, let's say you're doing a jungle track at 170. Um, and, but like, there was a section where you actually wanted it to feel like, like the grid to move at like 80 BPM instead, uh, uh or 85 BPM. How did, how, you did, could, how did we edit this again? Uh, shift right. Shift right. So change, uh, sorry, you're in groove one. Yes. Great. So try changing that to eight first and four later. Ah, that's cool. So that's reverse swing. If you were to change it to uh, eight and four. (laughs) There you go. Now we got some speed run shit going on. So down at the bottom, see how it says total? Yeah. 96 is going to uh, be your, like, if you add up to 96, you'll be adding up to the sort of default tempo uh, concept. And you'll also notice that you can... (laughs) You'll also notice that you have, like, 16 columns there. Yeah, uh, Things can get really complicated. (laughs) Mathy. Wait... trying to understand like what you know what it will sound like i remember like messing with the um, with the no coast you know on the no coast you can kind of dial in swing per step 
And that, mm, yeah. that can be really amazing. That's effectively what we're doing here, isn't it? We're doing, exactly. We're doing yes. Yeah. So yeah. you could have a you could have a push pull different on every step if you wanted to, um, yeah. which is quite frankly dope. And and I think shit can have different patterns have different grooves. That's something I haven't tried yet. Um, I, I think you oh, wow. if like that's at the, the same case, time you could get like, that, yeah yeah would be you could get like straight up Dilla esque kind of shit you know like like you could have different push pulls for every pattern which would be all for, working quite frankly together awesome. yeah like different yep that would be interesting because that's what it's all about is like how hearing things against other things mm -hmm. how does that sound in relationship to the other thing absolutely yeah so it's very powerful and very cool I usually use it just for swing. But I've also used it for triplets too. You can yeah. there's a way to set this up where you'll get a triplet grid as well. Yeah, it's pretty. It's um, go, switch it back to switch it back to six six just for right now. I think I did. Wait, shift and right. No, I did definitely didn't. <laughs> Edit six six. Yes. Okay, the last thing is tables, and this is one of the more confusing oh. things, and that's fine. Um, it, it we're not going to completely demystify it. But I want to make sure that you at least kind of aren't scared of it <laughs> because it can be really, really scary when people first come to this page and they see this thing flying by. So um, go ahead and hit play. Oh, yeah. simple enough. <laughs> the numbers are going past very quickly. Why yes, so yeah. tables... Each instrument you create has a table, um, uh, just that that it's given. Um, you don't have to use that table on the instrument, but you get a table with every instrument. Um, and what you'll see here is that this looks very similar to your um, your phrase page, where you where you put in notes, velocities, and three effects. Essentially, what this is is an auxiliary sequencer for every instrument and you can control how fast these go by does this make sense so far yeah it's like another layer yeah yeah it's like another so layer because fact. you know you get four you get four um what do you call it uh four modulators but you can also use this as a modulator so let's do something really dumb i want you to go into that note value that end thing right there mm -hmm. and just spam some random values throughout you'll notice at the bottom it says note offset oh uh, yeah so what this is going to do is oh, you'll, when you hit play you'll hear <laughs> and just hit regular play so we can just hear this isolated Oh yeah, it's all tacker again. That's how they do it. <laughs> okay, um, let's go. Uh, let's go hit shift uh, left real quick because I want to show you how you can um, change how fast that goes. Up uh, to the top right, uh, by load and save, you see table tick, and we know what ticks are now, mm. right? They are yeah. one of that twenty-four ppq. Hit play and increase that table tick value. Six would be. That actually sounds quite cool. It's not bad. Yeah, boom, it's funky. Boom, 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 boom. What? What is it actually changing? Is it pitch? It's it, well. It's a note. That particular. Since you put um, values in the note offset column, yes, it is yeah. offsetting. Oh, it's it's, sequ oh, it's resequencing a note uh, value. It, uh, so hit play, and you'll see it go by. Yeah. It resets every time you hit. Every time you ah. hit a note, it starts at the beginning again, unless you do some trickery in the effects. It's, it, it acts sort of as an envelope, right? Mm -hmm. Like it it, it, mm. it will go all the way down um, and and reset every single time a note comes in. Um, so with that in mind, you can use this to do things like, what's, an, uh, what's one that I would sometimes use it for? I would... Um, increase vibrato over time mm. so the longer a lead was playing the more vibrato it would get um and you can do that either by manually putting in vibrato um, amounts and increase them or the the repeat command as we've talked about before you can use this um uh, to let's actually try this go to um a uh, current instrument and go to um like timbre the tbr tbr up at the top 
great. Um, now below that, uh, go uh, go there and uh, go back into the things and go to sequencer effects, and use R and D to the right. Randomize. Yeah. Yes, uh, and turn that up all the way. <laughs> Great. Oh, um, it's, let's, it's, it's looping around. So yeah, just turn it up. It's yeah. fine. Um, let's go over to the notes, and I want you to use the shift option function to select that entire column, and then I want you to uh, uh, do that delete roll, that option edit roll. Beautiful. Okay, hit play. You hearing that at all? Yeah, it's not. Nothing's randomizing here, or at least try. Like, uh, to cut off frequency. So say that again, sorry. Change that to cut off uh, to TBR this command. One. Change it to cut off. Yeah. C U T. It's to the uh, cut. to the light. Yeah. Oh yeah. I hear it. So if I adjust this, will it? <clears throat> oh, there you go. Now it's really obvious. You want to get really weird? Change that cutoff command to OSC. Oh, okay, that's not really doing much. <laughs> but is that changing the oscillator mode? It should be changing the oscillator mode, yeah. yeah. Damn, that sounds fucking cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, try turning the random value down a little bit. Oh yeah, it's just, it's, there you it's, go. it's it's uh, it was out of its range. It's out of range, yeah. I see what you mean. Like sending sort of ten volts into a five volt input. Exactly. Yes. So that's randomizing every second tick, whenever the little like orange triangle uh -huh. hits this. And it's happening very fast because yeah. your tick, your your thing is like at what? I can't remember what your tick, tick value is. My table tick it's is at eight. Oh yeah. So you can turn that down even further, and it would happen even faster. I heard it. It was like it's almost like audio rate. <laughs> So because the Bad. because the ticks are so fast right now, it's hitting that randomize command, and um, uh, and it's it's basically just randomizing once. Um, yeah, you could have it randomize even more. Like you could have it randomize as many times as you want. Um, like, you mean like this, so do this. Yeah, yeah, you could do that. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds more coherent. <laughs> Definitely not that. <laughs> I see what you're saying. It's like it's interesting. Yeah. So that is randomizing the thing above it when the mm -hmm. little ticker hits that, and and this is all happening within the just this instrument. Instrument, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can be very, very, very wild with um with stuff. You can. I see. So this is like a kind of almost for that instrument. It's like a global kind of automation. It's a whole nother way of, of and then of, and then in here the instrument and in then here this we is have like, like per phrase per phrase yeah. sort of automation. I see. So there's like you, know, you could always make this this instrument be a bit freaky, mm -hmm. and then this will be another you know per phrase another layer yeah, on shit, top. Man. Yeah. So I don't use these a lot. Um, another really cool use for them is like you can create side chaining in there basically. Yeah. Um, automate uh, volume for like things. automate volume. Yeah, yeah. You can, um, who there's a, there is a, like, let's get, so your, your kick, if you were doing a four on the floor kick, you could come in here and set on that kick instrument, uh, the mixer command to turn down another, uh, a turn down and up another, yeah. um, instrument, every, another mixer every single time you, Mixer channel, excuse yeah, me. Yeah. Every single time that kick hit, essentially creating a ducking effect whenever the kick yeah. hit it. Yeah. Um, what else can you do that's fun? You can create arpeggios in here. Uh, you can do really fast, like, like uh, trilly, trilly, chippy, toony things. Yeah. Yep. Every note. Yep. Yeah. 
Um, you can, yeah, it's just, there's a lot you can do in there and I, I just don't want you to be afraid of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, and you I know? sort of get what it's for. It's for like funking up every, every step, you know? Yeah. Or like, um, f- <sighs> it's almost Think of it like, as an, it's like an auxiliary envelope that can be any, like, yeah, like yeah. That can be anything from, if it's super fast, it's going to act as an envelope. But then if it's like. If it's like six ticks, it's the sixteenth note, and now it's a, and now it's a sequencer. Yeah. So that's a six. Go, go in there and like. Uh. <laughs> so I would use note offset for that. Yeah, yeah, I mean that's what that's for, right? But you could you could do step sequencing for the um for like the uh timbre or the uh color, you know, anything like that. Yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> that's Christmas number one. You're not ready for that yet, but your kids are gonna love it. I think uh, okay. when I first cracked Tableton Live, this was the music that was playing. What's that? <laughs> when I cracked Tableton Live in 2001, that oh was the music God. that was playing. <laughs> I oh, I the crack stopped working and I had to buy it. And I've That's uh, exactly what happened to me, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like I was a student. I didn't have any money. Um, yeah. But I'd spent £160, so I got a student discount, and I bought, I bought it from version Fuck 4. Yeah. God damn it. Anyway. Um, well, wow. Um, you, so, so one other thing I will say about tables, one yep. of the uses that I hear that it's actually pretty cool that people use it for, um, the, the FM synth in here, um, the FM synth is a four op synth. You only have four modulators. So mm-hmm. if you want to assign one to volume, you've just lost out uh, on being able to use a very classic form, you know, like, like you're, you're going to have to use all three other modulators to, to, uh, affect the volume of your uh, of your four operators. Players. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Right. So yeah. you're going to run out of shit real quick. Um, yeah. What people like to do sometimes, and this is especially before we got that hypersynth, they will use tables to retune their um, modulators in the mode where um, all four of the modulator, oh, excuse me, all four of the operators go straight out. So no FM synthesis is happening. Um, they'll use the tables to tune those and create chords, and then they'll yeah. they'll they'll do what's called a table hop uh, effect and change those chords um, in the sequencer. So that was something that we had to do before we got the hyper synth. But people still like to do it because the FM synth obviously sounds a bit different than like a swarm synth. Okay. If you like to finish songs, um, there's a couple ways to. Uh, I, I don't know why I said it like that. Yeah, I don't know. You, yeah. you almost broke up as well. It's lent a special kind of emphasis to it. <laughs> if you would like to finish a song, <laughs> there are a couple ways you can get stuff out of the mate. You can render. Um, so if you go back to the P page, back to P, um, uh, you will notice that. Oh. That- what? That was a scale, secret scale. Go, go up from P. I, I saw it, and uh, you go right and up, 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 up. There we Fuck go. Fuck me, that was like, this is like when you start so you in can, a computer game, and then if you just go back, then you find a secret. Like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, so here you can create your own um, custom scale offset, which is super, oh, super fucking cool. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah, and uh, oh look. So that's how we solve the problem. See at the top there it says scale zero zero. Yeah. So if if you need a different, uh, if you need chromatic scaling for um, uh, like doing uh, like slicing or something, you could probably create a second scale that was like chromatic or not or something like that. Does that make sense? Like you can, have, I think you can have multiple scales in here. Okay. Can you hit shift up? Shift up. That's no. it. Interesting. Oh no, we get to that other scale. Really, really makes you wonder. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, the last thing. Oh, it's in that. It's in that p that p uh, thing. So go back to the p menu. 
Um, so just like groove has different uh, grooves, um, you have different scales. So scale zero, zero is C chromatic. You can make scale one C. Yep. Yeah, there you go. So you can make all those different scales, whatever you want. And you can make, um, uh, you can make different things adhere to those scales. Okay. Make sense? Sort of. Well, as in, so, but th this is global. Is there a way that I could, I could ensure that my drums don't conform to that scale? Yeah. I think there's probably a way. For, for the purposes of this video, it's probably quite sufficient to okay. know that there isn't. <laughs> you know what I would do? I would probably use the table to set. Uh, I, so it's not global. The groove there is not. Uh, well, yes, the scale, the scale that you set right there is global. But if you tell an instrument to uh, use a different scale, it will use whatever is in that slot. And is that done through effects in the table? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Let's go back to the P page and um, uh, finish. I'm, I'm sure it's in here. Ska. Oh, it's, ska. It, it was. It was Ska. Ska. Pick Everyone's up, favorite music. <laughs> um, so you can um, render a bundle. Uh, and when you say render bundle um, uh, down, uh, down a little bit, uh, you'll get some options. Render is render the audio. And you can render uh, a stereo piece. You can render, um, hit, go ahead and hit edit so you can see it. Yeah. You can render all the individual tracks separately. You can render uh, the effects on or off. Um, you have a lot of control in here. And Pretty now cool. to render, it says mix stems versus um, uh, like individual stems or something like that. Oh, yeah, you just mix. mix oh, stems. fuck. I just oh, rend no. it. I've just rendered. Hit option. I've, Hit option. Oh, my Hit God. option. Hang on. Maybe I wanted it to be rendered. Well, <laughs> no, I don't I don't want you to render right oh, now. Fuck. Hit back. <laughs> Uh, you say you say that like option that. option uh, uh, shift left sorry shift left um, and bundle when you are all done uh, bundling um, is a way to create a nice concise uh, bundle of of your project and all the samples involved with it and I think maybe even the instruments get um, I can't remember the instruments get I mean obviously anything that's in there gets mm. like bundled but since you can name and save your instruments separately if you were to go in and like be really really organized and name all your instruments and save them to your your uh, mate's hard drive or whatever um those would get pulled in as well so when i made my albums for the mate i created bundles of all of my songs and put those in the release um as a way to like uh, give people the ability to see what was going on in the tracks um it's so a great a way to share stuff a bundle basically is is a mate file that other people mm -hmm. can load in a mate and a render mm -hmm. is just the actual raw, raw audio yeah yeah okay. exactly and now the final thing i want to show you hit play or shift play let's hear your track again oh my god okay wait hold on a second hold on wait. <laughs> You gotta fix that bass. <laughs> what do you mean? That bass, What's wrong with that bass? There's nothing okay, wrong. fine. Hit shift play. Hit shift play. And then hit all all Wait. four arrow all four arrow buttons. What the fuck just happened? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's the like little Easter egg oscillator view. Or uh, oscilloscope view. I'm not sure why it doesn't come through the uh, the screen recording thing, but right. it's there. It's pretty fun, cool. I mean, I actually that quite like how weird, like, whoa, well, whoa. Well. Yeah, it's really cool, actually. <laughs> Wait. Is it push all four? Okay. Yeah. I always forget what it was. So I'll push them all. Know. Mash the buttons. Alex, do you feel a little bit more up to speed with the main? Mate, note? you have <laughs> given me. A truly excellent start. I want to thank you for your yeah, my pleasure. I mean, this you you really smashed that. Um, Thanks. It is. It's not so. I feel genuinely like I have a good lay of the land. Like, and I do understand the kind of the concepts. I might forget the button things. Yeah, is there like yeah. a? Is there like an A4 printable sheet that's just like here's the kind of the the like cheat sheet with your key commands and the, the you know the the shift options and the just all you know not like a full summary of the whole device on one piece of a4 but just like the kind of key commands i wonder if there's like a doc i i feel like there probably somebody probably has if there is um, i'll, I'll it, link to it below yeah yeah that would be that would be really helpful to people because it is like uh, 
I went away from the mate for a long time after I made my first project on it. And like, I was like, Oh God, like I forgot like basic things. Yeah. <laughs> and so I had to like, I had to like, uh, relearn a couple commands and having a cheat sheet would have been like super helpful but the community around this device is um fervent and they um they really like to create things that make making the mate easier to use so yeah. I, it probably I, exists, I bet you it probably exists. If, and if so i will link it because it's it's those like um yeah it's just what you like, like when you learn photoshop or something you just you just have a printout with all of the key oh god yeah it's just like helpful to do or morphogene yeah oh jesus <laughs> like or the, the disting you print out oh god a little piece of paper that has all of the like, algorithms written on it because you don't remember <clears throat> what they are um, yeah exactly um yeah <laughs> Well, thank you so much. If, My pleasure. If anyone who's watching this and for some bizarre reason isn't subscribed to Red Means Recording, and that's obviously something that you now have to do. Yeah, um, do it. Thank you, Jeremy, for yeah, showing I me. And Jeremy has a lot of, you have a lot of like actual fucking music that you've made, but you've actually been musical with this device. Yes. It's, it's yeah, not, I, not just a toy. I find it really inspiring. Um, the, the workflow and the coupled with the um the interface like the portability in the interface this thing that you just hold in your hands um and and flip around on once you get to know it mm. uh it's it's very enticing it's very very enticing to fall into you get muscle uh. <laughs> Sorry. That was not the right okay, time to say. <laughs> uh, you get like muscle memory you get muscle memory yeah it's wild yeah, you will you will fly around on it, and it will become a very very powerful uh, friend. And so, I suppose one question I have is just: we've got a, the beginnings of a song. Yes. Would you just make a big fucking long? Great question. How okay. Do, how so would you make a track? What I like to do is, and I, I'm a I'm big on samples. So usually, how I start my tracks on the mate is with a evocative sample. I um I have something prepared, or like I that. have. Ooh. Um, that's sad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Actually, I always start it with the um the <laughs> the chanting from an uh Return to Innocence by um what's that band? I, 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 oh, I, I. Enigma? Yeah, yeah, Enigma. I always yeah. start it with that. No, but like 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 something with like a lot of like dense information um that can be used uh, to kind of set the uh the stage. Yes. And then I will find something that complements it. So now we're talking about channel one has um, sort of the theme channel two has a comp uh, track two has a complementary sort of thing. Mm. Um, and then I will go and I will add drums and bass, yeah. um, and say, Hey, this is pretty cool. At that point, I probably have like four or five tracks filled up. That still gives me three more to yeah. experiment with. Um, I may at that point actually not fill up every track. Uh, when I have a, uh, my sessions looking like what you have right here, what I might do is um, I might uh, hold uh, shift <laughs> um, and hit option uh, enough times to uh, copy. Oh, yeah. So I think if uh, when you're not hit down. Yeah, there you go. So just yeah. just copy. Go back up. Okay. Just get those two right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now hit option to copy. Now leave a, leave a blank um, row. So leave two blank and hit uh, shift edit to paste. Okay. So anytime there is a blank space, you shall not pass. So think of these as like little islands, right? That you can uh, fuck with. Yeah. So now I will in in the second island, I'll start developing a new section, um, yeah. something that has variation to it. Um, the degree of variation depends on the track, but usually it's sort of like a B theme. Like what can I do to make this track? Like how far can I push what I have? Something like that. And I might have three, uh, like anywhere between two and three or four, uh, islands developed before yeah. I even consider putting it all together. Um, because I want to, to feel like I have a very strong, like foundation, um, like the sort of like established highs and lows of the track and, and strong themes. Yeah. And then I will start saying, okay, cool. So my intro could be this Island minus this, uh, 
plus this and i'll start creating and then i'll start creating like like the um the the sections and i'll start joining them together right, on if this you ever page, need you don't it's yeah. all done on this one page this is yes, where correct. the song is yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there's not like some yeah. sort of song too like the blur nope. blur track no yeah. no <laughs> no it's all here um yeah. and that's uh, that's how i do it yeah it makes yeah. sense so you have a gap that lets you effectively same things in like if you're in ableton live you'd be working on your like you know blocks of four and then the next yeah. block of four and then the next block of four and then you spread it all out across the arrangement window that yes. is <laughs> that's what you're doing here i told you i don't speak french <laughs> oh sorry <laughs> that's the only french i'll say um other than merci mer fucking c um yeah it's brilliant i'm glad Thanks for having me. Subscribe to Red Means Recording and enjoy your mates, mates. Everyone's Post mate tips mate. in the comments. Yes. And, um, we love you and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.